Hello, hello. Ones and only here yet again. And we're back to No One Gets Out Alive. That's right, folks. Not a new challenge, Wavy. Not a new one. This is something we we basically were obsessed with for years, decades, millennia. I have no idea. Cheers. Thank you for the hydrate. All right, let me screw up. I gotta do my hellos. I don't know if my lighting. I feel like my lighting's all whack. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, like, watch some things. And... <clears throat> all right. Welcome, folks. Maria, good to see ya. Silty, hello, hello. Violacious, welcome in. Good to have you. Summer, good to see you, Summer. Wavy, welcome. Yeah, I know, Wavy. We've been messing around with, um... No one gets out alive for a long time. I I did take a break from it to do a couple other challenges. Now we're coming back to an existing file. And uh, we're gonna try to take the file as far as we can and end it, okay? That's the goal, is is to get a final day count on on, on our faithful hero, Astrid. <laughs> uh, Sky Captain, welcome in, beautiful photo. Oh my goodness. Um, Lovely area you're in, Sky Captain. Too welcome. Good to have you too. Hope your studies went well yesterday. Thanks for shouting Silty out. Silty plays some ARC. Very cool. Appreciate that too. Hope everyone's well. Let me take a sip or two of coffee here. And we're jumping into it. Let's go. Sorry, something is just not quite right. I don't know what's going on here. It's not right. <laughs> I don't know. The heck? Sorry, technical difficulties there. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we're doing it. No wands gets out alive. <laughs> Getting around in a walker. Oh, that's awesome, Violacious. So I'm guessing the physiotherapy's uh, going well. Hey, Dingus, good to see ya. Good luck, you're gonna need it, kiddo. <laughs> oh, gosh. We're in our scary cave. Feels like 17 degrees back here. All right. We don't have underwear on this file? What? How did we manage that? Oh, that's brutal. All right, take care, Wavy. Enjoy your day. No worries. Yeah, folks, we uh, we played this file for oh geez, a while, but we kind of got it to a point where it was set up and then forgot about it. <laughs> so here we are. A one four two. Uh oh. We gotta we gotta get a day in real quick here. Level 5 carcass, cooking, fire starting, archery. Fishing is 1.6. <laughs> Do we have any notes? Oh. Hammer in Muskie Cave between Bleak and Fort. Okay. Maple and Burnt. Well, at bottom of rope. Cave near miners. Oh, these notes are trash. I, I couldn't picture myself tearing up. Tearing up underwear, though. Underwear is the keepsies forevers. No, I think I just never found it. Cinder Hill has all the matches. Oh, that's good to know. Coastal Highway to DP Mine has supplies at Workbench. Mountain Town to Hush River Cave has supplies like one bear hide and 12 god steer hide. Bear hide in a trivia cave. Okay, okay. We gotta get a game plan going here. I need to take out the moose in this region. I've got three arrowheads, 11 cloth, 77 cattails. Okay, okay. Could be worse. Ten, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We got teased, folks. We got teased. Your younger son's moving in with you? Oh, violacious. Well, I know you had said, like, your relationship's a little strained, but I hope things are... things are getting better. That's good to hear. Okay, so 
We're currently in a blizzard, and we are near the Broken Railroad Moose. We're at Hunting Lodge, the cave nearby Hunting Lodge. So there's a moose spawn here, we just haven't seen it yet, so that's what we're doing as we're waiting for this moose. I've got four shots with a 44% bow, and... Oh, I got eight shots with this thing. Decent. So we have flare shells in case we need them. I don't want to rely on the flare gun to hunt the moose though. That could that could get bad. That could get bad real quick. <sighs> All right. Yeah. So unfortunately, there's going to be bits of action mixed in with a lot of sleeping and passing time here. So that's just what we have to do. A perfect trip. Defending the title. You mean getting it back? Oh no! Did you beat it already? <laughs> All right. I'll change the title. I thought you were at 135. Did you sneak a stream in last night? I've been I've been ousted, folks. I'm off my uh, high horse. 154. What? Oh gosh. <laughs> well, congrats, Red Trip. You did it. Good job. Now I'm back to try to scrape scrape by. You're uh, still on the file, I'm assuming. You probably got a full health bar, double bear coat, three bear bed rolls in a closet somewhere. <laughs> yeah, no, I've uh, I've got, I'm in okay shape here. You know, we're in low health. We got we got 28 health. Yeah, no, I just uh, you must have streamed after I went to sleep. Snuck one in on me. <laughs> We gotta get this blizzard to stop. Here we go. Hey, Mel, good to see ya. No worries, Frick Chip. That's awesome. And uh, congrats. Uh, I know it's a lot of weight to carry around on your shoulders, but I'm sure you got a strong enough back. World champion. Frick Chip. Well, I'm still runner up, folks. Uh, Deadpool, I think, is around a 70, 75, 80. He's doing pretty good, though. Deadpool's got the full health bar with stims in the pocket. 46 health, one stim. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Well, I got some work to do. Okay. Let's go see if there's a moose. Goodness. That we're gonna get stomped and we have to start over right now. <laughs> if there's no moose, I'll probably grab this uh, deer. Doesn't look like it. Okay, there's two deer, so we can get a little food on this side of the map. But all my meat's in the bear cave, so I gotta bring, I gotta drag some meat over here. Something to think about. gosh. <laughs> well, welcome in, folks. Good to have you all. Thanks for joining me today. Let's see if we get cold on our first expedition of the day. Run, Astrid, run! Is that a rabbit I hear? I gotta get back in the zone though. It's been so long since I've done this challenge. I keep messing around with the revolver, folks. But good morning, Mark Warriors. Welcome. Good to see you. 
Glad to see you. I hope your Sunday is super chill. Indeed. Cheers. It'd be awesome if I could hear the moose from here, but I doubt it. I'm gonna have to post up. <clears throat> I'll head back, get meat, and we'll hang out here for a bit. Maybe five days max. Someone do more? Yeah, um, Sky Captain. Someone did. I had to change the title. So now the title is just scraping, scraping by. <laughs> no, day 143 we're at here. And uh, Perfect Trip did 154 to or, uh, Sky Captain. So I'm now, I'm, in, I'm, I'm the runner up. Runner up. We got lazy. We got, uh, we got careless. We let someone sneak up on us. Well, I was asleep last night. <laughs> 156. Oh gosh. Well, I usually can only handle about 10 days per stream, but if we're doing aggressive pastime stuff here, which I think we're doing, sorry, <laughs> we might be able to, we might be able to get that going. But yeah, 10 days is usually what I handle. That's too cold now for that trip. Hey, Duke! Thank you for the sub. Keep warm. I'll try. Eight months, eight months streak. Thank you, Duke. That's awesome. I appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, there's plenty of lumber around here, but we're never going to be able to grab any of it. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that for some of other folks. Hey, Serene. Welcome, Serene. How's it going? How is... Are you still in North Carolina? Oh no, my head. This amazing game night nice one that dude yeah this game's awesome uh we like it around here for sure it's tough um where are you starting are you in story mode or are you in survival sandbox yeah let us know if you have any questions it's really welcome in glad to hear you're doing well awesome all right i think it's a little chilly to be doing runs back and forth but We'll sleep tonight and deal with that tomorrow. I'll grab the deer, have a fire, get some water going. You finished chapter two and froze to death in sandbox? Yeah, sandbox will do that to you. Sandbox is not that forgiving. But stick to it. Hopefully, hopefully you can find your stride. Or, yeah, it's a, it's a tough game, steep learning curve. But stick with it and it will come together sooner than later. S story mode's fun. It's like a good tutorial for survival sandbox. That's, that's where the real fun could be had in the sandbox mode. Maybe some cattails. <laughs> You're watching your cell? Nice stream. Yeah, I'm I'm a mobile user for the most part as well. So no worries there. Quality's sometimes a bit lacking, but appreciate having you stream. Now if we could hear the moose from here, oh that'd be awesome. If we hear more noise, and we can just like sprint over. Gotta keep on going. Nice work. Yeah, that dude. It's um, it's a game that, like I said, it's kind of got a real steep learning curve, and it turns a few people off right away because of it. But if you can get past that and uh, get into it, this game's awesome. All right, I'm gonna go get a fire, cook this deer. 
and then the next one, the wolves, and we'll get that as the meat pile organized. Maybe a moose shows up at some point. Oh, great, we have a full lantern. I could eat a horse. It's saying a lot because I love horses. One point one? Mmm, tasty. Oh, I forgot we have Firestar 5. Hey, Logis. Is this the last play? Yeah, it is. We're in the 143 day save. Any hot days in the near future? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's cold today. I actually had my Mr. Rogers sweater on, Maria, before I started stream. But I don't, honestly, I try not to s check the, the weather schedule, only because if it's something like nasty rain, I'll, I'll still have to go out there. So it's not like, it's not like um, knowing the weather is going to help me any, <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, it's supposed to get uh, cool this weekend, and I think maybe someone told me it's warming up next week. Oh, where's our pot? Astrid! What the heck? <laughs> we, we had a second pod, didn't we? Oh, Astrid, what the heck are we doing here? Yeah, I, I logged in a day and I noticed I don't have a second pair of underwear. Like, when did that happen? Jeez. Alright, let's get a bit of food. Doing math. Oh, this is gonna be great. Okay, 40, 40 minutes. <laughs> it's basically an hour 20 of the fire we need. This is how we lose our pots, right? Cena, this challenge, it's ridiculous. Um, basically, Prairie Trip came up with this custom setting that has all the settings cranked to max difficulty. So everything is keeping in mind as hard as possible. So no feats. Uh, you start at midnight in a blizzard. You basically uh, have weather changing very, very quickly. Um, doesn't really give you any warning, it just changes. <laughs> so when you light a fire, expected to be blown out um, and right now we're also adding no no interior location so we're not allowed to go in anywhere that's warm like any houses anything so if we have say um, like uh, the maintenance shed at Broken Railroad that seems like a nice warm spot right well, <laughs> we're not allowed in there because it's like a warm spot. So stuff like that, um, Mountaineer's Hut, not allowed. It's pretty silly, but it's fun. It's tough. It's really tough. Yeah, it's super tough. Like learning how to play this mode took a long time, and basically all the starts suck except for Hush River Valley. <laughs> Come on, <little> <laughs> that's the moral of the story. Hush River is the spawn for this challenge. Okay, 
right, let's just get a little meat happening here, and then maybe by the time we're done, we can go back to the other fire. There's another wolf. So maybe we can pull him over too. Right, right, where, come on. Three, not oh, 3.4. We can pull the wolf over here. There's also teas, I think, in this area that we haven't looted. So I'm keen to do that. Yeah, he's coming. Whoa! He had the speedy, the speedy wolf. Alright, let's try that again. What, is this guy blind or something? What'd I do? Oh, but I'm playing, like guys, you gotta give me a break. I'm playing this game. It's really tough. <laughs> give me a minute. I have some important chat to read. Okay, okay. Oh, you're gonna troll me? All right, do it. Do a perfect trip. Where? I don't see it. What? It didn't, it didn't redeem. I'm ready. Yeah, do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> oh, sub giveaway. What? Oh, come on. <laughs> you could have got my bed roll from me. Okay, okay. Give me a minute. I will, uh, <laughs> I'll get this organized. Here be. All right, you, you tricked me. You got me, perfect trick. So folks, we got a raffle going now, courtesy of Perfect Trip. If you hit exclamation white raffle, it'll give you a chance at a sub. Yeah, and uh, Thomasina, I also have this redeem where basically I open my backpack and I have to randomly drop an item. So people try to try to take my bow or my bedroll from me. Oh, there's a wolf. I was like, whoa. Okay, don't step in the fire ones. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> what is going on? How much time do we have in this? 12 minutes? Okay. Let me put this down here. All right, well, that was fun. So, folks, get in on this raffle. You have 15 minutes to join. And, um, basically, I think, like, 20 people is the most we've ever had. So it's really good odds at winning. You know, could be your lucky day. Again, for Richard, I appreciate that. Honestly, I think if you had trolled me, that would have been pretty cool. It would have been pretty cool. Because you could have gotten a better roll, and then I could have blamed you for my failures. I couldn't have taken uh, taken Count Billy myself, you know? <laughs> Alright, we don't have... Oh, we've been... We've looted here already. Oh, shoot. Okay, let's see if we got the T's. Oh, we did. Look at us actually playing this video game. 
Hey, Mark Wars, giving a sub to Just Opossum. They were 177th of the channel. Thank you, Mark Wars, and Just Opossum. Congrats, enjoy. I heard you play in this game right now, so uh, I hope the sounds of me getting mauled by animals doesn't throw you off. Well, look at that. It looks like we actually looted this place out. Okay, uh, our boiling water. We gotta, we gotta tend to that. I think. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be boiled over by now. <laughs> hey. Mark Wars, get this up to Thomasina. Thank you, Mark Wars, and uh, Thomasina, enjoy that. Um, no more ads, some cool emotes to spam out here. Oh, thank you, Mark Wars, you're way too kind to me. And oh, wow, Dan, I'm sorry to hear that. What's wrong? That's why I didn't? Yeah, you knew. You knew that I'd, I'd use that as my excuse. <laughs> hey, Rob Sachs, good to see you. Wow, look at all this excitement, folks. I'm overwhelmed. Like, I'm trying to just, like, barely survive here. <laughs> everyone's, uh, everyone's popping in, giving me, giving me love, excitement. Can't, ha can't handle this. Let's go ahead... ...and see about this here real quick. I just want to check on this fire, if that water's boiling, great. I think it's probably boiled over right now, considering we just like cooked like a whole wolf up. Oh, Wands, you idiot. <laughs> Time management, for me, is so hard in this game. I always get sidetracked, you know? Hey, Tess, welcome in. Uh, and folks, thank you so much, everyone. Oh, the fire's lit. The water is... Definitely not boiled. Oh, Astrid. Oh, embarrassing. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. We missed a troll redeem because Chad is flying. Alright, I'll scroll up. I'll scroll up. Maggie redeem troll? Really? Oh, <gasps> Maggie. GG. Whoa, I had to I legit thought you were joking. I was like, all right, Tuke, I'll scroll up. I'll scroll up. Frick. She's really like one minute into stream and this energy. I like it, folks. All right, Maggie. All right, Maggie. I see. I see ya. I see ya. Just let me get set up here. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Let's count the backpack. Wow. Wow, Maggie, we got a lot of torches in this pack. A to Z. <laughs> oh, God. And folks, there is a raffle going right now, so make sure you get in on it. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 85, 86, 87, 88, correct? Hey, thanks for shouting Rob out. Rob is just chatting. What? That's lovely. Rob, you had a note? Oh, sorry. There's so much stuff going on, Rob. We barely got to chat. Wands misses things to create stream drama. Yeah, it's his trade secret. I have no idea what's going on. You're not? Okay, you're not leaving? 88? 88. 88. Alright, BRB, I gotta set up this, um, this screen over here. Give me a minute. I literally go, go to one website on this computer, and it's this stupid random number generator website. <laughs> and it's always, it's always zoomed in. 80, what did I say? 88? 
right? Hey, it's all of a good time. Raffle, raffle folks, get in on it, everyone. I don't have a bear coat. I have a wo two wolf coats and a bear bedroll. All right, all right. Generating the number. It is 88, correct? 44. All right. 44. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Oh, my tea! Forty-one, two, three, four. My rose tea. Really? You make me drop it? <laughs> That's my tea. A hundred k hacks points. To Zabalba, yes, Zabalba. I'm sure I'm butchering that. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, Maggie, thank you. Thank you for saving those points. Only a T. Yeah, the raffle, Wowdane, is for a sub to the channel. So, exclamation point raffle will get you a sub. And if you're already subscribed, you can still enter. You just have to think about someone to gift it to. So you can win it, but keep your mind on chat um, if you're if you're planning on giving it to someone. Hey, massive welcome, welcome in everyone. Wands is such a troll. Yeah, this is my troll redeem. Just burn the tea. Oh, you're smart. You're smart. That way I won't like walk walk over here and pick it up when you guys aren't looking and hand it back to my inventory. <laughs> I would never, never ever. But that's a... Okay, I'll leave it here, because that's an inventory slot. And then I do need an actual tea. Okay. This is okay. We got a little food on this side of the map now. So we'll drag all this meat to our cave. And then it's like, well, maybe the moose shows up. This is the one we're burning. Wait, now that we've done that, we can't burn it. <laughs> okay, pick it up in our inventory. We're gonna drop two teas. One is a sacrifice. And one is for us to take with us in our journey. I hear wind picking up. It's still burned. I think right now it's more important to get this meat cooked. Five minutes still burned. Not like this. But chat, my apologies. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to start pausing it. I can barely keep up. I'm like uh, trying to get into the groove of no goa and uh, <laughs> duplicate teas. Yeah, I don't know how to do that, Hax. I've heard it done before, but can't handle it myself personally. But welcome in, everyone. Sorry if I missed you. There's a lot going on. Odds, oh, welcome. And uh, wow, Dane, I sort of hear you're feeling off. I'm gonna miss the chat. You rock first one in my streams every time. Aw, Silty's awesome. Yeah, Rob. Silty's, Silty's one of the first in my streams as well. 
But welcome everyone and uh, Maggie, thank you. You're awesome. Don't don't ever feel guilty about redeeming the troll folks. That's what it's there for. It is actually really funny for me. Uh, because so far I think I've had like two things that have trolled me and then six that have trolled chat. So it's a winner. Well played, Maggie. Well played. Yeah, Rob, I usually fall asleep to Perfect Trip and then wake up to Perfect Trip, but I missed it. I missed that sneaky um, in the shadow stream last night. Yeah, the thing is that dude is the hacksaw. Um, it's a renewable, repairable resource. So I can find one scrap metal and repair that hacksaw up. Whereas my knife in this mode, I can't sharpen it at the mill at the cannery, so I can have whetstones. I have whetstones, but they're, they're elsewhere. <laughs> I, I left them at bases in the other parts of the world, so I can eventually fix my knife and stuff, but right now I'm gonna, gonna work on conserving it as best I can. Hey, Street, welcome in. Um, folks, we got a raffle going right now. Yeah, Wow, Dane, of course we're interested. Let us know. Um, feel free to vent. We're here for you. All right, there it is, folks, the inedible burnt tea. We'll leave that there. Um, that's a memorial to our shame. All right, things are about to get gnarly here. Do I want to hang out? Okay, okay. Oh, two minutes. What was I thinking? I've panicked. <laughs> I panicked, folks. That's what I was thinking. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Uh oh. There's that storm. We should have gone when we knew it was coming. Mother called and woke you. Not too long, I think. Body's hurting. You had a nightmare. Your mom wanted help with the batteries for remote. Oh, I'm sorry, Wow Dane. I know what you're talking about, where it's just like, you know, last thing you need to do. I'm sorry. Well, hopefully you can chill out. Hey, Goon, good to see ya. But she just called again and said she fixed it. Oh, that's nice, Wow Dane. Well, there you go. That's a good bit of resolution. Oh, give me my warm tea. Two T's for this journey here. Thanks to Maggie. <laughs> Just kidding, Maggie. No, I love you. I love you. So you seriously always made me smile when I see your name. Aww. Yeah, that's so sweet, Rob. Well, that was interesting. You know, we got some stuff done. No moose, but now we have some meat to sort of set up here in this little spot in the world. Hey, Cindy, welcome in. But wow, Dan, I'm glad to hear that you're feeling a bit better. Because, yeah, no, it sucks to feel poopy on a Sunday. Come on. Yeah, glad you fixed it. Yeah, um, naps are tough. Like, when you nap, I find, like, more than 45 minutes, you feel pretty groggy. Um, like, a, 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 tw a sort of, um, what, what would it be? Like, maybe... 30 to 45 is a good amount, I'd say. Any more for me and I get a little loopy. I'm the go-to computer tech for your mom. Oh, I know, Tess. I kind of um, dumped all that on my sister because I, you know, I have limited patience and I've tried, I've tried to help mom out, you know, with the computer stuff. But you can only explain one thing so many times before it gets frustrating, you know? And I'm just, I'm not the most patient. <laughs> so, shout out to um, to my sister for being being the patient one in the family. All right, 
Well, we kind of screwed that up, honestly. I think I mismanaged my time a bit. I was hoping to get two like deer hides. So, <laughs> kind of screwed up. Kind of screwed that up. Raffle is over. Thank you, Summer. All right, folks, let's check to see who won the raffle. Out of 19 entries. Good effort. Let's see. The winner is Sky Captain. Nice. So, Sky Captain, if you're in chat, uh, let us know. I believe you are subbed, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, now comes the hard part. <laughs> so, Sky Captain, woohoo, congrats. Uh, feel free to take your time. I can either pass, you can pass and I'll re roll, or you can pick someone in chat and uh, send the sub their way. GG, Sky Captain. Oh, Blizzard. Do a reroll? All right, let's do it. No worries. But it is your lucky day, Sky Captain. So keep that in mind. All right, the reroll is going to show us Massive Candy. <laughs> massive won the last one. So Massive, um, let us know if you want us to reroll. Or if you have someone in mind, I can get this up too. I will. But there you go. Uh, massive it is your lucky day as well, apparently. <laughs> so, uh,. Let us know what you want to do, Massive. Cheers everyone, thanks for participating and thanks again to Perfect Trip for launching that. Give the sub to Logius the Mighty 2, alright. We can do that. Give me just a minute here, folks. All right, so thank you again to Perfect Trip for redeeming the raffle, uh, Sky Captain, and Massive, and congrats, Logius. Enjoy. Use those uh, emotes. No more ads. All right. <clears throat> Cheers, everyone. 144. We're doing it. Doing it. <laughs> quite. Not quite, folks. We got a ways to go, don't we? Hopefully this will last us until we get that moose. That's about what we need. Holy smokes, Wowdeen! Uh, 
the heck? Wow, Dan, thank you so much. Gifting five tier one subs, a total of 50 in the channel. They went to J Carve, Johnson, Gold Branch, Morpheus, and King Rhino. That's awesome, Wow, Dan. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Does anyone know how to turn off the wind? <laughs> <laughs> I think um, the only thing to do about that is to harness the wind's power with like a turbine or something. A windmill. <laughs> but thank you again, Wow Dane. That's amazingly generous. I appreciate your support. And I hope, I hope your day continues to get better. Cheers. Hey, Huffy. You've been trying to do that for years, hasn't okay, worked. Okay, here we go. <gasps> hype, hype, hype. Get your hype, hype, hype. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> but thank you so much, Wow Dan. I appreciate you. So much newspaper man. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, newspaper man, definitely. Not newspaper boy. But wow Dan, thank you again. And Goon, hope you're well. Good to see you. I see you've been uh, getting back into Phasmo. How are you liking all the new changes? Uh, the ghosts being able to pull you out of closets and stuff like that. I haven't played since the, the big updates, but something to think about. Dawn of a new day. Yeah, it's a shame we don't have a Meg lens. You know what, we have, like, so many matches. I don't think me worrying about matches is gonna be... ...necessary, you know? We got... ...strikers... ...matches... ...we got everything. Sipping your first coffee, wakey wakey. Yeah, I've got um, my coffee too, and I've barely sipped on it. Cheers. <sighs> that one's really hard now. Well, it's hard when you don't have friends to sacrifice. <laughs> yeah. Hey, cheers. Another hydrate. Yeah. So uh, things goon like I've heard. If you're talking during a hunt, the the ghost will track you. Stuff like that. It's really wild. I'm still kind of holding out for more maps and more ghosts and stuff before I jump right back in, but I did enjoy that game. I played the heck out of it. Played the heck out of it. I don't know, how long do you think it will be before I lose my patience with this moose? Five days max, I say. How does this, uh, um, oh, Silty, I think it has to be different people. I don't really understand, honestly. It's subs. I don't know. I don't know, honestly. <laughs> but I don't think one person can start the hype train. Yes, yeah, so you were down to 11 cloth, and I need cloth to repair the bare bedroll, which I hate. I hate that. Uh, the donate does not- is not involved with the hype train. Just bits and subs. Gift- gift subs, sub- re- resubs, yeah. Hey, Duke. Kappa. Thank you for the cheer, Duke. <laughs> Wait, no TTS with that? Jeez. It's okay, it's okay. Thank you, Duke. There you go. Goon knows what's up. Like, three people, not two. Okay, that makes sense. Let's check the weather. Alright, enjoy your lurk. Take care, and uh, congrats again, Lugus. It's your lucky day. A 
little chilly, but let's see if we can grab like a stick or two here. We're scrounging. Captain Tuke is getting the crew together. You know he wants to. Combination bit subs, but not regular subs. Oh, okay, so the the resubs don't get it started. That makes sense, I guess. But yeah, I never really read into it. I kind of don't know what's going on here, folks. <laughs> hey, Silty. Thank you for the cheers. I appreciate that. Thank you for the bit, Silty. Heist? Yeah, folks, get in the heist. We got it going. Blizzard coming. There's a lot of fur, and I'm. Oh, there's a rabbit. Avert your eyes, everyone. <laughs> We're taking the rabbit out. I thought I heard this guy. This is a um, valuable, valuable resource for me. And I'm low on my arrows, so I gotta get the stones out again. But yeah, there's so much fur right in this area. If we ever can throw together a, a warm enough evening, it'd be awesome. Hey, Alex Archer, good to see you. Poor bunny, I know, I know, I'm sorry. Got him on the bounce, I know. <laughs> I always aim low because you can, you can expect, if you're like in line with the rabbit, it's gonna work. Pro, pro strats, folks. Oh, weather sounds like it's uh, turning in our direction here. Maybe not. It's warm, but the snow is falling. Minus seven. See, this is the situation where you could waste a match, five sticks per fire, and then pull the fur, move on to the next one, pull the pull the torch at the end, move on to the next one. I feel like I would hear the moose from this point, you know? Thank you for your sacrifice, Captain Duke. Nice work. Should make an emote straight, then we can argue the validity of your approach. I don't quite understand that. <laughs> Rob, that's a little too uh, big brain for my my understanding. Strat. Oh, <laughs> Okay, the lead speak. Oh gosh. <laughs> Too legit to quit. I gotcha, I gotcha. Thank you. I needed the, the explanation there for sure. I'm wondering if there's like maybe some hidden teas that we haven't found yet in this region. We've been pretty thorough here. That's the goal from here on out is as I'm traveling, we thoroughly loot the places out and we can you know, with assurance, no, there's no more expertise. Because in regions like Muskeg, um, Pleasant Valley, Mystery Lake, I haven't looted anything in Mystery Lake. Not a cattail. So if we ever decide to go back to Mystery Lake, we'll be we'll be laughing. It's down here. Any 
anything. Let's see, it feels like minus six. Maybe we could pull this off. Actually try to chop up some some branch, some fur. Definitely not now. There's like five degrees in here. Oh, okay. We tried. <laughs> it did. Uh, it did shift on us though. But five degrees, I can. I can deal with that. Yikes. Hey, glitch, you get to see you, Helga. Welcome in. Thanks for shouting Helga out. Helga's playing Resident Evil 7. Um, Rob, if you're still here, that was, uh, yeah, you're here, you're here. <laughs> that was a lot of fun watching you play it, and I was telling Helga, there's some puzzles in this game. It's not easy. But uh, apparently 7 is, like, proper scary. Proper, proper scary. My God out of it today I'm, I'm i'm barely able to even comprehend chat let alone keep up but folks i hope you're having a good time there you play nice amongst yourselves okay <laughs> i'm just trying to survive i'm trying to survive i'm gonna need to get a bit of water made up we'll boil, uh we'll cook that meat we'll boil some more water the goal was to pull cedar or fur apart for it but we didn't stop pounding sticks I might try this again. Like, let's just go warm up and see. I'm greedy. I'm greedy, folks. Okay, now it's getting nasty out. <laughs> we failed. Enjoy your lurk. You gotta work. Oh, you're arcing later. Nice. A boss battle. Right on, Silty. Well, I hope the update didn't mess your, mess your plans up. Enjoy. And uh, thanks as always for coming by. Yeah, we're not doing any wood chopping. Alrighty, let's just have a fire with our precious, precious sticks that we've stockpiled. Bye, Silty. And thank you, everyone. You're all so sweet. Uh, everyone's really popping today. Chats, chats are lively. It's just lovely to see you all. I appreciate you. Bandages? Holy smokes. Okay. <laughs> we screwed that up. Can't believe we lost that tea. 
Honestly, the T wasn't like the, the worst thing to lose, but it wasn't the greatest. <laughs> I wasn't too happy about that. Wild and it's all we know. You want to fire? Yeah, Cindy, I was telling chat it's a little chilly today. I'm a little cold today. The mill massive is in Bleak Inlet. Here, let me just get back by the fire. So right now we're in Broken Railroad here. Bleak Inlet, you can, you can access from the Muskeg, but you're not going to get into the mill that way. You're going to have to go to the ravine, which is either from Mystery Lake or Coastal. If you go to the ravine, you can enter Bleak Inlet, and you're in the upper part of Bleak Inlet, and there's something there that you need in the top part of the region to gain access to the mill, which is in the lower part of Bleak Inlet. But it's a big adventure massive, it's a lot of fun, it's a bit of a, a puzzle, in a sense. Uh, but I don't want to spoil it for you. If you need help, let us know, massive. We'll help you, we'll hold your hand through it. But my recommendation is go from the ravine down into the ravine basin, and then you'll walk into Upper Bleak. Explore that fully, and uh, once you think you have what it takes to head down the rope, you will, and then you'll enter Lower Bleak, which is pretty massive. warm enough out here all right you know what what if we take a fire and pull some stuff apart that'd be crazy 23 until boiled Okay, we're gonna try something here, folks. And try something out. I don't even think we need. Oh, it's getting dark out here. Oh no! Ah, <laughs> we should have built the fire. What was I thinking? <laughs> oh, that was so poorly thought out. I had the torch, I had the sticks. <laughs> Let's see how much damage we did. Too much. Two health loss. Two health loss. Oof. I get my head out of my, you know, wet folks. Alright. I do want to try that again, maybe. Believe it or not. I think we've lost our chance of this, but we're gonna try it again anyways. Brutal. Oh, what was the answer to the mill question? <laughs> oh gosh. Um, you could check the VOD. I answered it pretty thoroughly. Just give me a minute, okay? I'm, I'm kind of stressed out here. Barely surviving. All right, we put way too many sticks in that fire, but we got what we needed, <laughs> sort of. Uh, but massive, you got to go from ravine, ravine basin. Ravine Basin. 
yeah, if you can go to Ravine Basin, you'll be good. Don't go from the Muskeg. But you want to make sure you loot thoroughly Upper Bleak before you do anything. Okay, we gotta go reclaim our sticks from this fire. <laughs> oh no, we're tired! Oh, Astrid! Oh, you maniac! Well, that was a waste. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, chat, sorry, I need to focus on my gameplay, otherwise Perfect Trip's just gonna coast to victory with no one, no one to stop him. I know, that's what I mean, like, chat's flying, I'm, I can barely even read it. So chat, you're on your own. I'm sorry. I gotta relearn how to play this this mode. <laughs> You'll figure it out. You'll figure it out, chat. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. This the margins are too tight. I'm screwing up. I've been out of this for too long. Hey, Kindel. Focus ones. <laughs> Focus. Thank you, Kindel. You're awesome. Appreciate you. 11 months. Appreciate the support, Kindel. Okay, we got some water. Oh, we're reclaiming the sticks that we spent. I'm too tired to do this again. <laughs> oh gosh, that was wild. We probably lost health to exhaustion damage, too. Where'd that come from? Yeah, perfect trip passed us today. Um, so I'm trying to catch up right now. Just trying to catch up. All right, but we will sleep out here. We've got seven liters of water now, more than we absolutely need, but hey, it's here. 156 yeah so we're just scrambling we're scrambling to to catch up but you know what we're we're dwindling away our health bar <laughs> it's just slowly melting off of us but welcome kind alan thanks again sphinx good to see you welcome sphinx i'm not sure i can carry much more let's make some torches or sticks real quick out of these torches We have tons of water at the other base, but none here, so maybe we get the moose and then we don't even have to think about water. Four meters of white, perfectly executed. <laughs> I'm in um, Broken Railroad right now, so I'm in the cave near where the moose spawns. I've been waiting for this moose for a long time now, I feel. T-hacks, you better believe it. exciting. Let's check our health. I think we lost some to exhaustion. No, we're 26, so we lost two health trying to chop up a, f a fur limb without a fire beside us. What, what did we think was going to happen? Hey, thanks for shouting out Perfect Trip. Yeah, folks, if you enjoy uh, this sort of challenge and this kind of intensity of gameplay, check out Perfect Trip. They are, they are killing it in the Outer Looper. No one gets out alive. Putting on a clinic over there. And another streamer, uh, Deadpool, is also taking this challenge on. So, if you like this kind of nonsense, you know you know where to go to find more of the same, except probably a bit cleaner. <laughs> I uh, I know what I'm doing a little bit, but I also lose my focus really easy, and uh, I get distracted. I forget what I was doing. Stuff like that just causes me to spiral. So we're currently spiraling. But hopefully we spiral into the moose and get get some more meat. 
until then, let's keep on keeping on. Yes, Perfect Trip does everything perfectly, except when it comes to getting the character around the world. They typically go over the cliffs to get, <laughs> get where they need to go. Yeah, and you're not joking, because I think uh, within the last three streams, you've had two falls. <laughs> yeah, Maria, thanks for showing Deadpool. Yeah, I was too, Cindy. Deadpool was uh, in Ash Canyon, crafting, crafting it up. Stevo, survive! Good to see you, Stevo. Um, folks, Stevo is uh, a friend I've been playing some Blackout Club with, and uh, he's getting into the long dark too. So Stevo was playing story mode, and I took a few clips of him because uh, it was just perfect. He was shooting wolves with the flare gun first every time. He got a hit, and it was like... It was like a kid on Christmas morning. He was so happy. <laughs> Two falls, 24%. <laughs> Those are major falls. That's like you sent her off a Timberwolf Mountain. Hey, thank you, Maria, for showing uh, Steve out. He plays Dead by Daylight. He plays some Long Dark. He plays some DDR. Black of Club, a little bit of everything. But Steve, welcome in. Hope you're doing good. And again, thanks for... Uh, oh, GTFO. Yeah, we play GTFO with Steve-O. And uh, Steve was a saint because we've still been working on the same first level for weeks now. <laughs> but yeah, go check out Steve, folks. He's a new streamer, but he's got a great vibe over there. A lot of fun. Great energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've been trolling him because that's how I do. <laughs> that's how I do it. Well, you know when you're a new player in the game and you're like looking at your inventory and you're like, what do I need? And I was joking around. I was like, Steve, you better you better keep that rune flare. So he like dropped this rune flare and then he picked it up again and carried it with him just in case it would be important. Uh, yeah, Steve, I heard I, uh, I checked out that streamer, actually, because that was something uh, I needed to I need to figure out that strat, how to how to actually hammer those zombies properly but yeah right now we're getting into some long dark steve -o. we're doing this extreme challenge and uh i used to be the champ steve -o, and i'm not no more i'm not i'm barely i'm barely even on the on the leaderboards okay let's check the weather it's gorgeous let's uh let's get our act together here for a minute all right, we're gonna go get a moose or some lumber. How about? Let's try it. Seven. But I'm in the windbreak. Okay, that's not gonna work. I don't know, what do you think? Is five, five the temp I need to be at? I think seven's too cold. Shame on me. What? No, I'm just joking, Steve-O, because basically um, I've been playing this challenge and a few other streamers are trying it too. So Perfect Trip has been um, has been pushing me and uh, they have now taken my record. So I'm, uh, I'm number two. I'm number two. No, massive. I'm not. I'm not. Don't say stuff like that. It's not true. It's not true. I'm just learning this game still, honestly. <laughs> but as far, as far as this challenge goes, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm in two slot. And that's okay, folks. It gives me something to work towards. Seriously, though, where's this moose? How long are we gonna have to wait for him? We killed the bear, we killed all the wolves, everything. Hey, Dallas, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Welcome to the Grim Gang. A wrench for me, welcome in. <sighs> that moose is shy. Wife sex is using the hose to wear out the kids. <laughs> it's like a... Um, a uh, handheld version of a sprinkler, basically. Yeah, I don't know what it is about sprinklers and kids. I remember that. Like I used to be in the soccer, sorry, football for for those non-North Americans, um, like summer camp when I was a kid. And I remember like at the end of the camp, as like a reward for being good, they turned the sprinklers on and let us like get sprinklered. 
and that was like perfectly fine for all of us. You know, we worked hard during that week, and we behaved ourselves with the promise of getting the sprinkler to turn it on at the end of the week as a reward. Kids are... They're not the brightest. <laughs> it's sprinklered! Yeah, exactly. Um, Steva, we're in... It's called Broken Railroad, so if you carry on with episode 2, you're gonna show up in this region. Uh, a lot of the regions are locked off in story mode, but this region you do show up in. Story mode will take you here. It's a shame we, uh, we used up that tea. Well, we didn't use it, but we took its warmth away. Hey, Massive, watch the caps. It's like you're yelling at us. We don't like that. <laughs> we don't like that. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. I understand. You're excited. Let's go check again. Four degrees. This is it. We're going for it. What do you think? Now we're talking. That's what we want. Now we're set a bit better for the moose harvest. Okay, again, again, again. Where the weather turns nasty. My first death was caused by harvesting a deer. Well, Steve, honestly, you're doing really good. Like, most people, when they play, they start at the plane crash and they sit there breaking boxes down while they're cold and they lose all their condition and die and then they're like wait what why did i die this game's broken <laughs> so yeah that the fact that you managed to get out of the plane crash is pretty impressive for a first time player you're a natural steve i'm not even i'm not even pumping your tires up frost termites <laughs> oh you're talking about the hollowed out tree I know what you're talking about. I'm losing patience for this moose. Gotta find a house, gotta find a house. Oh, you're talking about story mode? Yeah. I think uh, I had already played, right? So I came into story mode after been playing interloper for about five months so i was like easy bandage we're out of here and i like ran straight to great mother great mama take care of me where's my soup give me my soup use the car and put a fire next to it nice oh irl <laughs> or in game yeah i think we're talking in game right now Oh, massive. I know, I know. But yeah, keep in mind um, that it's it's like you're yelling. It's like you're yelling. So excessive caps usually is pretty frowned upon in Twitch. Just a heads up. I know you're new here. I'm pretty chill, folks, honestly. But I do uh, I do want to get, get stuff like that out of the way once in a while. Alright, is it gonna give us another shot here, or what? Nope, it's way too cold now. Alright, let's like, aggressively pass time. <laughs> and just hang out here. Until there's a moose. I hate this kind of gameplay. I just wanna keep checking in case it does get nice, the weather. I'm trying to make the logs appear. There's limbs here. There we go. <laughs> See? <laughs> but it's too cool to get them anyways. You know, this would be a spot you could put a fire and get six cedar. For the cost of like, ten sticks. Can 
from that today. You just said it's open? Nice. The sun is setting. It'll get a lot colder soon. If you have an unfinished basement, Rob, that's kind of cool, actually. That's like a bit of potential, right? All right, now it's storming. Our five days of food is t dwindling to nothing. Oof. Did you see Kimmy went to Timber Wolf now? Yeah, I did, Summer. I actually, I managed to tune in, and I was like, story mode. Oh, Kimmy Oda's on the side of a mountain. Oh. And then all of a sudden, he was at the bypass of the rope at Timberwolf to Pleasant, and I watched him go to the gold mine. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah, totally, uh, totally refuses to accept the reality of the game. It says, no, I'm going where I want to. Thank you very much. Yeah, that was wild. You have throw rogues everywhere? Yeah, Rob, right now, like, I, I used to get messing around with fencing, and right now the wood is so expensive, I just don't even bother. Like, it's hard to come by, it's expensive. Things are wild. If you're doing construction, home reno, or you're in the trades, it's crazy times. Kimmy said he has misunderstood on what plane he had to go to. <laughs> Fallen Star, head to the plane crash. Okay, Summit? Here we come. Oh, it's getting cold. It's getting cold in here. My brother had- yeah, I had a bedroom in the basement for a while. Um, it was cool in the basement. It's like 10 degrees cooler underground. But yeah, there's alternatives to wood. Like, you can get steel or like, um, aluminum studs or whatever they are. They're kind of... A pain, but once you get the hang of them, they're not so bad. <clears throat> but then all the other construction materials, like whether you're going to mess around with drywall and stuff like that, it's all, it all adds up. You're going to watch the final? Well, odds, feel free to throw some updates at us. Uh, yeah, let us know how it goes, all right? I'm curious. I'll, I'll probably uh, check out later. <laughs> I'm a terrible hockey fan, but, you know, if Canada's in the final, I might as well. Your super will be the master when my three girls are still at home. Oh, it used to be the master. Oh, really? Oh, nice one. I like the aluminum studs for basements, too. Yeah, and two, um, it's lightweight. Like, so if you're, if you're humping lumber down staircases and stuff, it's not as bad. <laughs> Just keeping in mind your back. It's getting cold in here. Go. Go Canada to yeah Finland's playing too, so I think odds is probably gonna be cheering Finland on maybe. <laughs> oh my! Did you say humping lumber? Yeah, I used to hump a lot of lumber around job sites, Rob, and that's the terminology that we use on on job sites. <laughs> Moving one pile of lumber from another. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Your basement has its own entrance, exit. Oh, that's awesome, yeah. It will be a great match. No odds, well said, well said. Well said. Yeah, a lot of labor in construction is moving one pile of junk around to another spot, and then when, when it's no longer able to stay there, you move it somewhere else. Yeah, you got it, Tuke. <laughs> Hey, the storm has broken. Well, I'm hopeful that the blizzard brought a moose, right? Oh my, it's minus 19. Okay, let's wait till weather clears up a bit, and then we're gonna go push, push for the moose. Unfortunately, that's about it for the meat supply. Can't really hang out here too much longer. Hey, hey, Yen. Um, hello, everyone. Seima. Seima, Yen. What's up? <laughs> What's with that entrance? <laughs> you came in at the best time. We are talking about, um, transporting construction materials around. We don't need this.
Okay, it's minus 10 now. Definitely what we like to see. Alright, let's, let's go for it. Maybe the moose is there. Maybe he isn't. I come in and chat and Tuke says you hump with, so there's that. Yeah, I don't know what Tuke's on about yet, and honestly, you'd probably have to go check the VOD for context, but there might not even be context. It might just be Tuke being Tuke. Yeah, I got no idea what Tuke's on about. Pesky moose. Show a few three sixties here. Darn. No context, just something. Yep. for the moose if anyone's just tuned in we've been sat here for about i don't know three or four days now we killed a couple wolves we harvested the deer that were in the area and uh now we're just trying to be patient and failing at it we're failing at patience Welcome in. Nice win, GG. Hey, hey, Jelly. A Jelly, hello to you. I hope you're rocking the kabosh like the clash on this fine day, indeed. Yeah, we're, uh, we're doing our best. We're doing okay. Not great, <laughs> but I'm doing fine. My character, on the other hand, it's hurting. It's hurting a touch. Do you normally hang out for more than a few days? No, kind of. I usually, like, show up. If it's not there, I leave. I have no patience for this. Literally none. So the fact that I'm actually hanging out here for an extended period of time shows you how dedicated I am. I'm trying to get uh, this moose. I'll get it cooked, <clears throat> and then I'll aggressively live here. Passing time, you know? But yeah, we've been here for a few days now. No worries, Cindy. I understand. We've been here a few days, and uh, I'm trying to be patient. But also, there's a bunch of fur that we can chop up. Cedar. But same, same. The idea is we'll get this when I'm ready to harvest the moose. I can go grab all this, um, all this fuel, so the cooking is prepped already. Pretty soon, though, we're gonna have to go to our bear, pick up all the meat, and then I probably bring a bunch back this way, so we can hang out here longer term. Lost your day 55 to me. Oh, blood loss. Oh, no. Yeah, pretty much the first thing I do after attack is check afflictions, and blood loss is the one you need to tend to immediately. Like, infection risk, you can leave it. Just don't go to sleep with infection risk, but it can be tended to, like, later. Wait, did I hear a moose noise?
Yeah, no worries, Iron. And another thing too is if you're like, say, mauled by a bear, you've got a bleed and your health is really low, it might be a good idea to shoot a stim into yourself first uh, to give yourself a bit of a margin while you're crafting a bandage or putting one on because you still will lose blood while putting a bandage on. I've been in the basin for seven days waiting on a moose. Yeah, I actually waited on that moose for two weeks once. And that was tough, but at least the basin, it's got a lot of food. Like the basin, I just killed every deer and I think there's four of them there. <laughs> so it's like, okay, I got, I got like 20 kilos, 25 kilos of meat. I can wait, but it's, it's tough. One thing though I like about the basin is if it is warm at night often and you can get those, um, those opportunities to chop fuel. Not always, but there's there's some warm warm weather in the basin for sure. It's pretty nice outer loper territory. You gotta climb a rope to get to the workbench, but at least the workbench is close. And then the coal drop in the Marsh Ridge Cave, as well as, you know, if you do go into Milton, there's plenty of coal at that one cave and then the cave system. Alright, I hate to do it, but we're out of time here. We gotta go, uh... It's dusk, so I can't be far behind. We gotta go back and get some food. End of an era. Well, you know what? Maybe, um, there's some hunting to be done on the lake. The problem is we're low on arrows, so... We gotta eventually go and craft more arrows. And I honestly don't know where I left all that stuff. It's been so long. <laughs> I hope we have some saplings curing. I have no idea, honestly. We'll find some saplings, hopefully, though, because we're going to be in trouble if we don't. Alright, let's go back to our main base and we'll fill up, fill up some meat. Maybe we'll travel again. You are all four deer and two wolves. Yeah, that will keep you going for a couple days at least, but uh, waiting for the moose is a pain. It's one of those things where I was checking like all the time, maybe once, twice, three times a day. But then I finally went out one night at like midnight during bad weather where you could barely see, and of course the moose was out there standing around. Got the wolf respawn. Might as well. for my arrow chill that was embarrassing we missed it oh it's probably in a tree <laughs> okay let's eat first before we really screw this up oops I've had a few moose and runs that only showed up at night. Yeah, we missed. I, I gotta go, like, retrace my steps Come here. Come on, little fire. Do 
we have enough food? I don't know. Uh, this is where we need to aggressively pass time, I think. <laughs> Just hang out, let that moose spawn in. But I could take like half this meat to the other cave. Gosh, we're never gonna find this arrow. All right, it was like it couldn't have gone too far. Ideas? Isn't the air in the cave? Wait, but it went through the door, I thought. I think it went straight on through. Hey, Velpepper, good to see you. Left of the fire. Oh, what? Whoa, Yen. Jeez. I have to give you points. <laughs> what the heck was that? Good eye. I'm on mobile. <laughs> That's right, folks. I pay my debts, okay? Do, if you do right by me, I'll give you some points, alright? Oh, okay, good. We do have saplings. Oh, frick. Okay, look at all this loot we have. Holy smokes. Whoa, shoot. There he is. Alright, let's try this again. warm up a little okay we do have coal here too as well nice. Is that an Aurora? Ugh. <laughs> I want to cook this wolf though. Alright, let's um, warm up here.
Careful. You know what we could also do is try to shoot wolf, rock, and archery five. No one gets out alive. Um, I think we have it here. There you go. That's the custom code if you want to try it. What's worse, that you actually looked up at the top of the trees, so that you walked a mile from the cave looking for it? I know. I just thought I saw the, the arrow go out the main entrance, you know? This is the quality gameplay I come here for. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here all week, folks. You've made an abomination? <laughs> what do you mean, Bell Pepper? Let us know what you're talking about. Do you think we have enough water? This is what I mean. I was like, I can live in here for, you know, a while before we have to leave without even using our bow. But that's what's gonna, that's what's gonna push us out of here. If we hunt aggressively, eventually we're out of arrows and we gotta leave to go to the workbench in the muskeg. Or I think honestly the next big trip should be to Bleak Inlet because we haven't been there yet. Go to Bleak Inlet to get our bedroll, or die, try and tease. I don't know, Bleak is probably a, a bad, bad play. No one gets out without losing an arrow. I don't know if it's worse that I thought about it and made it, or that it doesn't sound awful. You wrapped hot dogs and cheese and microwave them? <laughs> well, sounds like a chili dog, cheddar chili dog or something like that, minus the chili. handling this meat. Every time I pick it up to move it, we're getting a wolf potentially smelling me. three arrows I would be wiser to prep the forge area for forge run. I actually have okay so I have three arrows and then I have three arrow heads so I got six arrows total but yeah no you're right Raven I gotta go do a forge and the thing with that is I gotta go to Cinder Hill coal mine I believe to get my scrap metal I stocked out some scrap there and also the shelving units and stuff um, I'm pretty sure you can just crack down those shelves during the day and then we'll head to the forge. Uh, I honestly don't think they'll be adding any animals, and if they do, maybe a cougar. But again, don't hold your breath. That guy who yeah, his Raven, no. So crazy right I'm now. basically milking these arrows out as long as I can. That's the goal. Milk the arrows. I was hoping to get a moose down with these arrows, so take these arrows, get the moose, and then eat the whole moose here, and leave on day like 175 to go craft more arrows and uh, build arrowheads. That's the low-key plan. But cheers everyone, thanks for joining me. This uh, challenge has been a lot of fun for me, it's been crazy, it's been interesting. But yeah, appreciate you all hanging out as we mess around. Walrus? <laughs> Could you imagine, like, you're beachcombing, and there's like an event that can happen when you're beachcombing where like something climbs up on the edge of the ice and grabs you? <laughs> and then you've got an underwater struggle? No way, that sounds, that sounds like nightmare fuel.
Most air mitts could use a love, bit of love. We'll maybe do that tomorrow. using this fire to get more wolves, but I'm not going to go mess with the rare wolves. Speared by a narwhal. Well, orcas are friendly, though. They've never really killed a human in the wild, as far as I know. So that would be kind of like the aurora orcas are coming for us, you know? Wall, wall riot? Imagine a fat mechanic, warm up bonus, and get energy from the meat. Well, I guess like, um, what is it? Blubber is like super rich and fat. You can use it as like a lamp oil. Wild turkey. I guess um, having an animal that drops feathers might be neat. Instead of a hide, a turkey just gives you a, a massive amount of arrows uh, if you if you use it right. Perfect. Moose can dive up to 20 feet. And one of the natural predators are orcas. Crazy. Yeah, what's a moose diving for? Food? There you go. What do moose eat? I thought moose were like browsers. Like they eat, like they forage leaves and twigs and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, that didn't go as well as we'd hoped. I really, really wanted to get three wolves down. But. Know about it. What are you gonna do? Winter time, kelp and such. Oh, there you go, Sky Captain. Yeah, I guess in the winter, twigs is probably not satisfying. Algae. Hey, Earth's a bit. They're diving for moosels. <laughs> GG. Earth's a bit. Thank you. That was lovely. And welcome in. <laughs> How long have you been saving that one? Did you just come up with that? That's impressive. Moose dive in order to reach aquatic plants going at the bottom. They're good swimmers. I'm gonna hold their breath for a minute. Whoa. There you go. A whole minute. Could you imagine like you're going for a swim and like a moose emerges out of the water? Just a water moose, just chilling. Giant rack looking at you. This is my body of water. <laughs> You can hold your breath longer than that? Nice. I guess, um, like 30 seconds to a minute and a half. There's some humans who can hold their breath for like 11 minutes or something insane like that. Take that moose. Yeah, he ends a superior mammal. Wait, 16%? Maybe we should just use this up, eh? Come on, mending. Nice, we got it. See, one cloth will get us 0.7 out of this toque, 
where it only gets 0.4 out of this sweater. That's the kind of stuff we're thinking about now. I forgot to breathe if I sc um, scuba and met a moose. Yeah, if there's like you're underwater looking for like fish and like s underwater stuff and there's like a moose swimming towards you, <laughs> nightmare fuel. Yeah, there's just a moose coming up from the depths. Epic underwater battle, or <laughs> moose versus orca. I don't think a moose would stand a chance. It's like, it's like saying a shark versus a moose on land. Meme a person in full metal armor with a sword sand tech. I would pay to see that. <laughs> We're gonna have to make some more teas. Oh, we have coffee left? What? Look at us. Drinking coffee. Yeah, these things are pretty durable. Like the wolf coats, the bear coats, the moose coats. They're awesome. They they hold up well. The deer mitts and the hat, they melt off you quickly. Deer pants and boots are medium. Alright, let's get into the comfy, cozy pastime ritual. We're gonna shuffle some cards for a few hours. Wait for the storm to pass. Then I think I'll try... Maybe one more wolf hunt? No, we should save the arrows for the moose, shouldn't we? The problem is, is we're gonna go with a bunch of meats to that cave. So if we bring a bunch of meat, those wolves will, will give us uh, a headache, might, uh, more than likely. One's steak super sore. The best cuts of beef on Great Bear. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's gonna disappear quick, you know. We're hanging out here now, long term, so it's gonna go fast. Oh, it's 18, what? Hey, we got a heist going. I don't know who the captain is, folks, but get in on it. You know you wants to. Try to get that hide. I'm just gonna wait, wait a minute here. Temps might be a bit better. Okay, we still got three wolves on the ice. It's too many arrows. Like, I think I don't have that. I have one arrow that's at 1% or something like that. So, we're gonna save him for the moose. You did it. Nice one. Oh, sorry, folks. You're a little slow there. Next time, 
But I want to go into an abandoned Canadian town area and just go full TLD. <laughs> Well, there's actually stories of people who have purchased, like, whole towns, you know, um, towns that used to be in an area that, say, maybe there was gold mining or some infrastructure that's become obsolete, and it's an abandoned village, and people are basically reclaiming them and trying to fix them up and make them, like, a destination. Kind of neat. Yeah, you can go to jail for that, like, but you can legally obtain stuff like that, <laughs> for sure. Plenty of lumber in this map. Oh, that's not the bear cave. Yikes. Miscalculating. I just don't know if we have anything in here, so I want to check. Hey, hey, all nuggets, good to see ya. If there's TLD2, do you think it would be the same? I feel like, um, it could be the same, but with seasons, kind of. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. So a seasonal, a seasonal change aspect to the game would be really neat. Oh, look at that. We got some moldy, moldy meat and some water. Mm. Nice. For frick's sake. How many Aurora's are we gonna get here? You know what? I hate it, but I don't remember if I fully looted. I don't remember if I fully looted that pit down there. I just wanna make sure I have actually loot this whole region properly, you know? Looks like things are going well. We've lost 2% of our health, or 2 health today, to um, accidentally getting cold while trying to harvest. We are harvesting a fur sapling. It was silly. Alright, let's, um, let's just bite the bullet and sleep in here tonight. We've got full belly almost. I think they'll do a setting that allows more animals and plants. Wouldn't that be nice? Um, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, the winter setting is a little restrictive. Like, you can't really have things growing back in this world. So it's limited to what they can throw out there. But yeah, having seasonal would be neat. Or even just a, a more varied region where it's not full on winter. You can like travel to the higher elevation and maybe it's winter mode. Wood of Alish to light. I didn't want to touch meat for a few days after that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. No idea. Yes, yeah, season smell is something we've tossed around a bit, but maybe it just would be kind of tough. But what about like regions that, that signify different seasons? So if you started in a high elevation, like up in the mountains, but you work your way down to like a valley region where Maybe you've got more of a spring vibe. Story mode will turn mythological, and then TLD could be anything. That's an interesting thought. 1-0 for Finland. Go Finland, Odds. It was funny, Odds. I was getting in some uh, Finnish back black metal last night on the Discord. Just throwing some uh, horn up there for folks <laughs> to check out. I'm sure they were impressed. Tomba, Tomba gave me the wet face, I'm pretty sure. It's all good. Controls for Thor or controls the Aurora. Yeah, <laughs> we don't have our hammer, so we are not Thor, are we? I don't know. We're doing we're doing okay, folks. Let's not get too freaked out here. Orna, have you heard of them? 
They're from way back in the day. But I used to listen to them in like high school and university. Blast from the past. The GG odds keep us posted. I appreciate you uh, checking in with the scores. We haven't heard hide nor hair from Tuke since it started. <laughs> Tuke, I love you if you're there. Just teasing. What other, uh, what other stuff would you want to see for TLD2? Like, I feel like they did such a great job at this game, but none of us really want to see, like, the same game again, if you know what I mean. It'd have to be a bit different. Hey, Tuke! It said open hood. It said open hood. It said open hood. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it here. Cheers. Morna is a synonym for hell. There you go. Yeah, odds. Uh, I don't know how I found them, but I was, I was into them. <laughs> but then it sucks. Like I, I recently like went back and like looked up information on some of these old bands I listened to, and of course they're all in foreign languages, and I have no idea what the heck they're singing about or anything. And yeah, some of them, maybe not so savory. Maybe I need to rethink some stuff. You know, Tundra vibes. I heard my name? No. Never. Tomba, I was talking about the music I was throwing at you last night and how you were, uh, you were really impressed. <laughs> Escaping. Cool, I'm up prison pack with survival mode. Oh. Yeah, Sky Captain, I want to see, like, the same... Like, okay, if you were to talk about the base game, the, the graphics, the, mecha the mechanics, um, that stuff I want to see the same, but I think we need more variety. Like, it has to be different enough. Like, Jens talking about more plants or animals or a different, you know, different region with um, seasonal change kind of thing. There is uh, this game coming out out of Poland that looks really neat. It's a survival game. I forget what it's called though. It's on my Discord. Some of it was actually good, except for the vocals. You forgot the English name? What's the Polish name? Maybe I can translate it for you. It's something, it's something like you wouldn't expect. But yeah, there's this new survival game coming out that's like hyper-realistic and there's all sorts of neat mechanics that they uh, seemingly have planned. But yeah, it's TLD, where it's like the same game, but you could say enter a region with like not snow on the ground. It might be cool. A different set of plant materials. I don't know. Who knows? If it's set in the same universe, maybe all of Canada is a frozen wasteland. It's like TLD, but summer. Well, maybe that wouldn't be, you know, in theme. Something to think about. Seasons would be neat, but it might be hard to, um, Hard to implement. I don't know anything about games. Wild side, or what? Wide side, the game. If you want to see screenshots. Frick? Frick and frack? What? Wid side? Wide side? Wild side. Do you want me to delete that, Yen? I think you spelt it wrong. No? Okay, okay, I'll delete the first one. There you go. Wild side, the game. That's this game we're talking about here. Looks kind of neat. Oh, look at this shame corner we got going here. I love it. <laughs> shame.
Yeah, unless we take these wolves out, we're not going to be able to get our meat back. Alright, let's, let's, let's do that then. No, we can't. Ah, oh, it's so tough because our arrows supply. We don't have the arrows to support this adventure. Okay, now we're not doing anything. Spelled it wrong. They're moving. Hey, they got a studio? Oh, nice. So they were kind of stuck at in some sort of developmental hold up, but now they're moving on. Nice. We'll keep us posted, Dan, if you hear more. It looked interesting. Like it had some potential for sure. We should. No, our arrows. Let we'll the flare gun kill the moose. If he's even there. Well, you know what? Maybe we can get to the fence quick enough, you know? If we get to the fence, we can close the gate. Find out if this is a bad move or not. I only got what, like four stakes? It's not gonna last me long. I'm just hopeful that Moose is there, you know? I don't even know if they can get through this gate while it's open, let alone closed, so let's just hope. Hey, Snake Doctor, you haven't played TLT in months. Has there been an update since December's Hesitance Prospect? Um, no. Uh, the new update, Snake Doctor, is going to have episode 4. And we're sort of speculating that it's due to come out maybe September? Late, late summer, early fall. But they're basically doing the testing right now for episode 4, Snake Doctor. And that might actually bring another map to survival as well. I don't know for sure. Some people are speculating, though, that there is going to be another survival map added. But good to have you, Snake Doctor. And Seth, welcome in, Seth Angel. Good to have you. Moose Prayer Circle? Yeah, we need to, don't we? We need something. I'm just hoping that we got this nasty weather. It's nighttime. I'm going to go pop my meat down in this cave, and then we'll check, check on Moose. But yeah, Snake, um... Ash Canyon. It's been a lot of fun. Aside from some hot fixes, that was the last major update. Oh, excuse me, Erp. How rude. Yeah, so anyone just tuning in, we're trying to get the moose in Broken Railroad. And we've been here at this cave. I don't know, I gotta check maybe a week now? We've been sort of hanging out in the area, periodically walking over to where the moose is. Alright, five five big old stakes. We got some water too. We got some firewood. Nice. Let's get an hour and then maybe check on the moose. Who knows? Let's see. Oh, there's a storm. <laughs> I'm 
That's 10. Minus 17. The moose is going to be out in this kind of weather, though. That's what I'm worried about. If we have to hunt in a blizzard, it's going to be bad. Hey, Lemonade. Good to see you, Lecker. A Street. I think Interland is in a tough position because the game is so loved. Doing 2 2 could be difficult. Yeah, that's right. Like, I compare every survival game I play to TLD. So, for Hinterland to try to not only make another game, but to improve upon the, the already smash hit that they've made would be, would be a tall order. But doing an entirely different game might be the way to do it. Like a full-on new IP. But wa welcome in, uh, Lecker. Good to have you. But Street, good to see you. We're back to no one gets out alive. That perfect trick character took my record away from me. So we're here trying to scrape it back. Slow and steadily. <laughs> yeah, uh, perfect trick. Perfect trip. It's at 156. So, got some work to do. But right now we're just waiting on this silly moose. And it's not showing its face once. We've been hanging out here for at least six days. Yeah, we've been hanging out here for a while now, just hoping for this moose to make its uh, make its grand appearance. Hey, hey, jetpack, yeah, perfect trip now has the record. Yep, PT is a monster, a menace, a menace to Great Bear. <laughs> I agree, I agree, Street. <laughs> I just had to watch like ten videos of elementary school lessons. Those teachers are always so happy. Well, I guess um, if you like kids, that's a great career choice for you, but you gotta have the patience, right, Rob? You gotta have the patience for it. Maria, thank you for lurking. Appreciate the lurks. Alright, let's just do... I, like I said, this is the kind of weather where the moose is actually showing up in the past for me, so we're gonna make an effort and head there in the middle of the night, have a quick check. And if we see him, we're throwing, we're throwing some arrows in him. I don't think we can dance with this moose with three arrows. <laughs> but we have seven flare shots, so... Eight flare shells. Yeah, you have to have a mountain of lessons and experience at your fingertips. It's wild. Yeah, too, it's like... You gotta have all sorts of little tricks and tactics to um, deal with uh, difficult situations. And you, know, you just have to really have a sense for the whole... Whole roller coaster ride that is children. Come on, Moose. Show yourself. Like, we got the markings. Ugh. No moose. No moose in the loose. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Other than be patient for it. Maybe we wait two whole weeks for this moose and then he finally shows up. But in the meantime, we're getting chopped- we're chopping firewood up. We're, um, scrounging on whatever meats and sticks and berries we can find. But we'll get there. But again, thank you everyone for hanging out. Appreciate you. Yeah, this outer no-go is, is a neat, neat experience. <laughs> it's a bit of a... It's a bit of a tedious gameplay, like you can't really just run around wild. You gotta really plan out your movements. Wait for the right weather. It's not... Not one of my strong suits. I feel like I heard him. Like, I'm hearing moose calls in the back of my mind. Okay, we do have four arrows. One of them is at 1%. So hopefully it just is one shot, one kill.
But yeah, if we can get that moose, quarter it, drag those quarters to that one cave, we're laughing. We can literally live there for that whole whole moose happily. Leave, repair a bear bedroll, our deer pants, our wolf coats, and just move on to the um, arrow crafting. So that's what I mean. If I play this right, we could really do good here. So we need to be patient. Wait for this moose. Take the moose out and eat the whole dang thing. <laughs> Anyone know any tricks to uh, make that moose appear? I'm all ears. If you have any black magic voodoo or tea circle shenanigans, I'm I'm listening. All right, listening. I hear wolves, but they must be the wolves from the lake. Otherwise, we've had those those wolves by the moose respawn already, which is possible. Tonight. Tonight is not the night we battle the moose. I love how we're super warm in these caves, though. I love it. I don't even have to think about building a fire during a blizzard and just sleep through. <sighs> Takes a lot of the headaches out of no one gets out alive when you finally get the warmth bonus. Day 149, let's go. Coming, we're coming. But if we get that moose, I'll be, uh, I'll be laughing. This is really testing our patience. Hey, Savior, good to see ya. Welcome in. Thank you for this sit rep. So the situation is we're on 149, day 149. No one gets out alive, modified outer loper. This is that file that spawned in, I believe it was Broken Railroad. No, Hush River. Yeah, what am I talking about Broken Railroad? We spawned, <laughs> we spawned in Hush River, and we got out quick, and we tried to move fast. So we had the bow, I think, on day like 13. And then we went straight... Straight to uh, Timberwolf Mountain. On day 30, we summited, and then we went straight to Ash Canyon. So we were hanging out in Ash Canyon around day 50, and then we exited out. And since then... We've been back to Ash Canyon, believe it or not. Desolation Point, we spent a lot of time there. Hush River, we went back there. And then we've been uh, from Hush River, Milton, we've gone to Broken Railroad. So we're kind of working our way through the regions for like the second lap to clear out teas, food, hunt. This is, no, this is a new, this is, this is, um, we're revisiting the old file that we dropped. So Saber, this is the one where I beat Perfect Trip and I was like, I'm done. <laughs> so Ash Canyon, I like Ash Canyon, but it's it's pretty advanced. Like it's not ideal for this mode because of the uh, really cold weather at the top. Oh, hi, by the way. Yeah, no worries, uh, Mill. Good to see you, Brock. Um, we're just doing this, this, uh, this challenge. So anyone who's tuning in, 
this is what we're up to. And um, always punch in that custom code if you want to take on take on this monster. Current record holder is perfect trip with 156 days. Yeah. So we're just trying to put some pressure on perfect trip. But yeah, I love Ashkin. It's my new favorite region because it's uh, challenging. There's a lot of good loot. It's kind of out there on its own, you know? So you have to be prepared. Or if you spawn there, it can be a really strong spawn, uh, spawn point. Oh, it is chilly. Why is it so cold? 16. Okay, let's wait a little bit, and I think it's gonna warm up. Let's get, we'll get that moose. Time to look for shelter. The weather, yeah. On on this challenge, the weather is very sporadic, so we've got lots of wind, uh, blizzards, uh, extra chance of auroras. All that stuff is cranked to max difficulty. Moose, deer, rabbit spawn set to low, predator spawn set to high, spawn at midnight in a blizzard. No condition recovery, unless you stim. They were cold. Ah, I can't, I can't even check right now. Too cold. It's like we can't even walk 20 feet from our cave before we get cold. Hey, dude, good to have you. But we're gonna go pick our time and we'll check on that moose again. Not right now, though. Mentioned this, but what would you say is easiest and most difficult map to learn? So I'd say the easiest map is it's silly, but the one you spent the most time in. But if you're if you're talking about like starting from scratch, I think Mystery Lake will always be the, the easy map. It was the first map in the game, and they designed it in a sense that it's pretty pretty easy to navigate. If you find the center of the map, there's a train track. And you can take the train track from one side to the whole other. And uh, camp offices on the way. After Coastal Highway, or after Mystery Lake, I'd say Coastal Highway is a pretty nice map. Mountain Town is a pretty nice map to learn. Um, although both of those maps have a lot of predators, so beware. Desolation Point's pretty small, so is Broken Railroad, but again, lots of predators. Makes it a little tricky. But yeah, I'd say Mystery Lake, Mountain Town, Coastal Highway are the easier maps. And then when you start talking about harder maps, or medium maps, Pleasant Valley, um, and then difficult maps are Hush River, Timberwolf, Ash Canyon, Bleak Inlet. Wolfie's ready to move on your kibbles. I know. Yeah, that's the thing, is if, you, um, if you're if you in Quonset, like, it's a nice region. There's fishing. There's cabins that are kind of isolated out on their own. There's a lot of different, you know, buildings scattered. But in general, lots of wolves, lots of predators. Makes it difficult, makes it more complicated. moves I tell ya. At the moment I'm learning the maps. FM so far I know the best. Yeah, uh, for that muskeg, it was the first interloper map that I was able to spawn in there and I kind of knew what to do. If I was at Hat Creek, I'd go to Poacher's Camp, I'd get the flare, I'd make a fire, and then I'd leave to Mystery Lake with like 10 torches in my pocket. Uh, I didn't even know about Spence's matches. But when I first started, that was my map. Desolation Point, 
and the Muskeg were the maps that I knew how to get out, because uh, Destination Point I knew about Hibernia matches, so I'd just beeline it for Hibernia, and then you leave with so much coal. It's a pretty nice start, honestly. Why are you not staying in the hunter's house? Um, I'm doing a challenge, Millen. So this is the challenge here. It's um, basically the hardest settings that we could think of. And uh, I'm not allowed inside buildings. I'm not allowed to go inside buildings. I can't recover condition from sleeping. I can't um, do a lot of stuff. But what I can do is survive outside. I can go in transition mines, ice caves, um, the whatever, you know, mines. I can live in there, I can loot them. I just can't go in houses or buildings. Rob, come on. No way. Yeah, it's a tough one, uh, Millen, but if you want to give the challenge a shot, that's the custom code there. It's basically the toughest start you can possibly have in this game. You spawn at midnight in a blizzard, and uh, you can't recover condition. So, very, very tricky. I feel like I'm just burning calories running back and forth here in hopes that there's like a magic moose showing up for me. Where's my midnight moose? markings in so we have the moose markings in this area um, but we just haven't had the moose yet I've been here almost a week I'd say maybe even longer 10 days I've been going back and forth I have another cave with a whole bear in it so I'm like living out of that cave and then tripping here um, a few few days at a time just to keep an eye on the moose yeah so the moose is such a, a huge amount of meat that I gotta try for it I'm I'm basically out of arrows yet, so I got four shots, and then I need to build more arrows and a new bow somewhere else, so I'll be leaving this region. But that's my last goal, is to get the moose before we go. Get that moose. Live forever. I don't know if we can go to challenge idea. Who can get the most cairns? Oh! Outer loper? Oh gosh. Well... I guess it would be doable because all the cairns are in caves and outside. It, you'd have to do a custom built challenge just for that. Like if you say took your file right now, perfect trip, and started messing around with cairns, you would you would limit your <laughs> your um, longest longest days possible, I'm sure. But if we built a, a custom run just for that purpose, maybe throw cartographer into it. Why not? Faithful cartographer, Karen Hunter, Outer Loper, no one gets out alive. Let's go. <laughs> this is your favorite start map? You always go from the village to it? Yeah, new file, of course. Yeah, don't want to mess up that one you've got going. It would be a shame if something were to happen to it. It would be a shame. <laughs> Honestly, I've never done- I've never done Karen's buffers. I barely, barely managed to do Cartographer. Okay, let's get a snack. This isn't gonna last long here. All our food is, uh, dwindling. either I don't even think I've gotten half yeah I maybe clicked five of them uh, at most I usually ignore them I'll click it out of curiosity 
and then I'll see this story has not yet been written, and I, I rage. We'll write the story then. You can hear how many times the wind is shifting as I'm passing time. I just want to get out of the colder part of the day and do another check. Minus three triangles. I thought it was minus two triangle. If we have to battle the moose in minus three triangle, it's gonna end bad. Just dealing with an unruly kiddo. Ah, oh, well, good luck and uh, thanks for coming in. Appreciate you. See, there's the moose markings. It's it's here, but we just haven't seen this moose yet. Simon to go, he's a maniac, maniac, on the floor. I didn't even know that that was the lyric. Nice one. Well, good luck, Rob. Almost ready for summer. Getting there. Three page papers during your stream. Nice, Rob. Well, keep it up. That's awesome. You are very productive. Two other smaller or er, smaller assignments. Nice work. That's not bad. All right, moose weather. Let's do this. I got the fog on my side. We're running low on food. We need that moose. Yeah, I've never been this patient with moose hunting before. Usually I give up after day, two days, three days, four tops. Yeet. Time to go hunting, Kieran. We've been trying. Yeah, we're trying. We're hanging out right by this cave in Broken Railroad because there is the chance of a moose here. And I've been checking the spot. I've been living in the cave nearby daily, many times a day, wandering over here to see moose. There's a few wolves in the region on the lake, but otherwise I've uh, cleared most of the stuff out, other than this moose. Do a couple 360s just in case. Dang. What about... Could we we could hang out in the car, folks. Let's try this. It's kind of silly, because it could backfire on me. But the weather is nice enough that we can we can sit in the car for a bit. Oh wait, this is a bad idea. The weather just changed. Oh gosh, this is how we die. <laughs> Let's go quickly warm up and then abandon. Oh no, not like this. Not like this. Astrid! Oh, I knew it was a bad plan. Oh 
Oh gosh. Astrid, what are you doing? Yikes. I know, see, I saw the snowflakes. I knew that meant blizzard. It's okay. If we have to, we'll stop and have a fire and warm up some teas. I might be able to make it back. Not like this. Not like this. It's gonna be close, folks. Oh, I think we're taking damage here. Yikes. Yeah, see, this is, um... This is a problem for us here. Alright, Astrid. You can do this. We believe in you. Run! Yeah, easy. Easy. No yikes. No yikes, folks. Perfect. Perfect. I can't feel my hands. <sighs> Frick. Who are you thinking? Oh, I'll go I'll go hide from the blizzard in the truck. That's a good idea. Oof. Big oof. Yeah, not the best moose because of the distance. I know, we're we're struggling. I've been hoping for this moose streak, because if we could get it, I would I would live here, eat the whole thing before I go. But just like checking on the moose, it's uh it's like my max my max distance that I can travel. Uh but as far as moose go, I don't have too many in ideal spots. Like, there's the moose at Trappers. We could get that one, maybe. But we didn't get, like, the Marsh Ridge moose. Or the Forlorn Muskeg moose, the ones that are near the actual tree cave transitions. Those would be perfect. the Aurora. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna sleep here for one more night and then we gotta go back to our bear cave. Beautiful. Well, at least uh, Trappers has the cave system. So that's the one thing that Trappers has, is the cave system there. But yeah, there's no actual outdoor cave. So it's kind of, um, cabin fever central. <laughs> but yeah, the ideal spots would be like that Forlorn Muskeg cave where there's an outdoor cave and an interior transition cave. And uh, that spot in Upper Milton where there's a cave system and the cave by the Moose of the Pond. That'd be nice. sleep now. Oh, we're out of water? Great. Great. Astrid. Not like this. Alright. Let's get two hours. Have a fire, I guess, with the basin. You can also check on two possible moves. Yeah. Like the Marsh Ridge Moose and the Basin Moose, those two moose um, makes that area really rich. You know, you can base there for a long time if you time it right. Take one moose out, wait a few weeks or a month, get the other one. Alright, I think we have enough sticks for a fire here. How cold is it? Minus 19. Should have saved the cedar.
He's one, one seater. Brad, welcome in. How's it going today? Good to see you. We're just getting skunked here in Broken Railroad, trying to wait for that moose. Oh, Brad, I was asking Chad, maybe you know. Do you have any um secret ticks, uh, ticks, trips? Or what? <laughs> okay, Brad, hold on. Do you have any tips or tricks to help me spawn a moose in? Is there any black magic voodoo that you can help me work? Uh, what happened to easy mode? Perfect trip took my record away from me, Brad, so my pride, it hurts. I, I have to take uh, take this file back and put an effort out to get him to one, 157 will be Perfect Trip's current. We're on 151 though, so we got a ways to go. some water and then I'll make a couple teas maybe we're kind of low on tea uh, someone made me drop a tea out of my inventory say Kimyota three times and click your heels together <laughs> hey thanks for shouting out Brad Summer Brad's been streaming the long dark folks and if you've hung around the long dark community you'll probably recognize Brad he knows a lot about this game and he is also very uh, very much into the shenanigans, doing doing game breaking nonsense stuff. It's really good feeling though, folks. It's really exciting. I'm getting very terrified because I'm talking. Are you taking a quiz? And all the answers I've chosen so far have been the first. Yeah, I remember having a teacher saying that like one time he did a quiz where he made every answer the same one, just to mess with people. But I think he was telling us that story to mess with us, and it never happened. Teachers are funny like that. <laughs> That's the vibe I got. But yeah, every now and then you'll have uh, a test where there's like five C's in a row and you're like, oh, there's no way. There's no way they would do this. <laughs> the probability doesn't add up. But welcome, Brad. And uh, if you don't have any tricks to help me, that's OK. You can stay. You can stay. Yeah, we're desperate for this moose and he's not not giving us any any chance so far. But if we can get the moose, cook it and live in this cave system, or this cave here. Laughing. Alright, this is when I feel like the moose will be out. Just after an aurora, when it's freezing cold, middle of the night. Okay, let's do some teas. now. Just blow some water. The 
mass boil. Shame we don't have any food, but <laughs> at least we have water now. We have water and cattails and teas. go check on this guy soon. Forty seven minutes, let's go for that much, because who knows? 42, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. food here so if it's not the one we're leaving to go back to the other cave but we got the nice weather we got a torch in our hand we got two teas in our pocket let's find us a moose Brad? <laughs> yeah, how many uh, how many fires do you need before you can touch the moon? New challenge idea. The only thing I don't like about this situation is I'm getting hungry and I'm out of uh, energy soon. Honeymoon counts. If you traveled via fire pit. <laughs> Sounds classy. Wow, we actually mathed it almost perfect, folks. We need to rest soon. E 
good. Okay. I hate doing this, but we're actually going to... We're gonna rest a bit here and eat cattails. Our emergency cattails. I'll eat five, maybe. I'm guessing Mrs. Hud wanted something else? <laughs> what do you mean? What's wrong with a fire pit walk up to the moon? Sounds romantic? Cheers. Cheers, folks. Alright, I hope everyone is channeling their thoughts towards Broken Railroad Moose, you know? That's what I need from you, chat, right now. Please and thank you. All right, let's get a bit of a sleep. We'll take uh, three or four hours. There's no easy way out. There's no shortcut home. <laughs> I can barely remember it. I think I blocked it out. <laughs> uh, one more hour. There is no way out. No one gets out alive. Chili. Let's do one more hour. Pretty soon we're gonna be um, heading back to our meat pile, but until then, I think another shot at this moose. It was the one choice on the multiple choice. I got a hundred percent. It was all the number one choice, really. Rob, that's trolling. The trolling you. Dang. Well, take notes, Rob. If you want to be nasty, that's how you do it. Ah, oh, dang it. Minus 18. Alright, alright. We got the T. Let's go. It's supposed to be warm. Professor Queen Troll. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Extra troll for you, Rob. I feel like I might even be able to hear the moose from the cave, you know? Or at least from here, I should be able to hear him. The sun is setting. You know how much I love being all alone in TLD, but episode 3 of story mode is not pleasant. Oh, Pleasant Valley? <laughs> Unpleasant Valley, more like it, eh? You done with your homework, so you can go do stuff with the family? Aw, uh, Rob, enjoy. Thanks for hanging out with us. I appreciate you, Rob, and um, I hope uh, your wife's doing well. And uh, all the kids are happy, well-fed, full of beans. But enjoy, Rob. Thanks for hanging with us. And wow, Dan, yeah, um, not everyone enjoys the story mode because it does, it does command you to do things. You have to, you have to go pick people up and drag them across the map and it takes time. It doesn't feel good, like in survivor mode? Yeah, it's a bit, um, it's a bit more restricted, like you're, you're not as, um, free to do what you please. You know, you gotta get someone else's schedule to abide by, which I don't really like either. I haven't really started the story yet, just roaming around to find stuff. Yeah, that's something you can do. There's a few side missions that are fun while in, like you have to find um, triggers for the missions. But in episode 3, there's a few good side missions that, that actually give you some really good loot. Uh oh. Lizard. Now the moose is up, I bet.
Well, cheers, everyone. Thanks for sticking by me through this nonsense. Gotta wait for the moose. We gotta get that moose, folks. Feels like two degrees. You've played through this three times, but this time it's just weird. Oh, well, maybe you've just um, experienced the story too much. But for me, I want to replay it. I'll be doing it my third time while in as well. Uh, I want to replay it before episode four drops. So that's the that's the plan at least. We'll see. All right, can we make one more check before we get forced out of here? Just cattail. Astrid wakes up to a blizzard. Oh, come on! <laughs> Typical Astrid line. Ah, we'll do our best. Get through this, folks. Probably be taking that team leaving. Head back to our cave. Honestly, once we get forced out of this map, uh, it will be kind of fun. We'll have to go build some arrows, make a new bow. I'm starving. I want to get to Cinder Hill and then collect some scrap and then head back to the Muskate to forage. So we got some plans. Actually, right now, the only plan is to kill a moose right here in this region. And we're striking out. Now, at this point, I'm just trying to wait for a break in the weather before I can escape here. I'll probably have to waste one tea at least. Yikes. Has broken. We got one more chance at this, I think. I'm gonna need to eat soon. Check the temps first. Oh, yeah, it is cold. Let's uh, sleep a bit more. Waiting for the perfect weather. Doesn't exist, but we're trying. Get back to that moose. Feels like minus 18. No. I should. Taking more meat with me. I guess I didn't want to uh, have triple stink. In hindsight, I think it wouldn't have mattered. Okay, it sounds nice. Let's do it. Alright, we're going. I want to check on that moose. Let's do this. This is probably the last time before we backtrack to the other cave. And then go to collect uh, a few more supplies. Hey, okay, pretty soon these wolves are gonna respawn and we can take them out here. Man, I could eat anything. Maybe the rabbits too. Oh. 
smoothest ever. Now we're out of food. We gotta, we gotta get out of here. I'll go warm up, and hopefully we have that tea on us still. We can drink that at some point if we need to. Girl. Yeah, the um, moose spawn is set to low, so that might have something to do with uh, the trouble I'm having. But I have seen other moose, like they're around. And some you lose some. There's a Cairn down there. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever be able to find the Cairns, honestly. I don't have the patience. Or I'm not systematic enough with my movements. Like, I'd probably think I looted this region, but then I'd realize later on down the line that I didn't even go to part of it. Oh, we gotta backtrack. Hey, Stog, good to see ya. Welcome in. See, now I'm wondering. The weather is nice. Maybe that moose came back around. We'll go grab some meat and come back. Come on, Moosey. Hey, Athea. Yeah, we're trying. We're trying. I killed this moose some days ago. Now, Stomp, was there any trick to getting him to spawn? Because I've been here for what feels like eons. I've been here for like a week and a half now, waiting for this moose, passing time, scrounging for scraps of food. It's a sad, it's a sad reality. Um, but what I think I'll do is sneak past these wolves, eat, fill, um, fill my pockets with meat, and then we'll head back. Try again. I need to find food. Damn pretty, ain't it? Aw, thanks Backer17 for actually writing something. I'm wondering how thoroughly I looted cattails on this lake. So now I've uh, eaten all my cattails up. Ciao, beauties. Slept here one night and morning the moose is there. Come on, stop. <laughs> I've been trying so hard, but yeah, we can't get this moose to show up for the life of me. But patience. We're learning patience. We'll learn play patience if it kills us. our clothing. 84%. I think we can wait until they're into the 70s. This, I'll probably wait till it hits 50, and then we'll get a whole degree of warmth out of it. Also, I snapped the bear from uh, the hill. I hit him, but he ran away. Oh, well, at least you hit him, because then he'll bleed out, right? Hey, Ruak, welcome in. Good to see ya. And thanks for shouting Stomp out, who's played some Long Dark. Um, yeah, Stomp, uh, as long as you hit the bear, don't go inside. Like, if you go inside for two hours, the bear's bleed out timer will reset. So, if you shoot an animal, like a bear or a wolf or a deer, try to stay outside for at least two hours before it bleeds out. Alright, folks, unfortunately, I'm just gonna take a quick break. Uh, one minute break here, so sit tight. We'll come back and try again. But uh, I'll be right back, and let's see if we have a clip to share. A little paranoid. Not like this. Not, not like this. Hey, thank you for the hydrate, Silly. No! What the? We're gonna die? What is going on? Great. 
timing. You got me. Uh, you got me. You like me. I didn't even have her pistol out. A little paranoid. Not like this. Not not like this. Hey, thank you for the hydrate, Sylvie. No! What the? Ah. Ah. We're gonna die! Great timing. You got me. Uh, you got me. You like me. I oh, didn't even have her pistol out. A little paranoid. Not like this. Not not like this. Hey, thank you for the hydrate, Sylvie. No! What the? Ah. Ah. We're gonna die! Get away. Ah. <laughs> what is going on? Great timing. You got me. You uh, got me. You like me. I oh, didn't even have her pistol out. A little paranoid. Not like this. Not not like this. Hey, thank you for the hydrate, Sylvie. <laughs> no! What the? Ah. 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 We're gonna die! Get away! Ah. <laughs> what is going on? Great timing. You got me. Uh, you got me. You like me. I oh, didn't even have her pistol out. A little paranoid. Not like this. Not not like this. Hey, thank you for the hydrate, Sylvie. <laughs> no! What the? Ah. Ah. We're gonna die! Hey, hey, folks. Thanks for waiting. You went inside? Oh, no. Yeah. I guess if um if a blizzard rolls in or if you go inside, there's a chance it despawns. Okay, Grim, I hear you. Are you trying to come here? Come on. Sorry, the cat's showing up. Come here. Hey, yo. Huh? Sorry, he's giving me the business. Once before, I believe the spawn setting only affects whether a particular spawn point will be active. An active spawn point, chance of spawning. Oh, oh, okay, so Street, you're saying I've got my RNG established because we've got the moose spawn. That moose should show up. Dang. <laughs> okay. I'm the cat or not? What are you doing? Got people waiting. All right, he says no. He's just yelling at me. Sorry, folks. If I lose the arrow, it will be on the ground. Yeah, so like say if you go inside and the bear despawns, you might just find an arrow laying on the ground next to nothing in the future. Oh, they're coming. Yeah, I honestly, I think I thoroughly looted this region out to the point where we don't have any cattails. Oh, okay, now the cat's back. All right, all right, all right. Come on now. Change your mind? Come on. No? Yeah. Okay, we got Grim house. All right. Say hi to the cat, folks. Our mascot, our team mascot's here. Maybe now we'll get the moose. We'll have good good luck because Grim's in the house. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Why would Automod block that? He did a purr. Say hi, Grim. <laughs> yeah, the cat's in the house now, folks.
What are you looking at? It's over this way. What are you? What's he? Oh, he's like looking at the TV or the the screen. All right. Good boy. Yeah, say hi to Grim. <laughs> Thanks, folks. Now give him like 10 minutes to get settled. No worries. Not like we're um, playing a dangerous game here or anything. Hey, Rock. High five. Yeah, say. Oh, alright, Grim. Come on. You gotta sit, bud. You gotta sit. Alright, we're good. We're good. Perfect. Yeah, like I said, I think if we wait long enough, we'll get this moose. That or what's happened is we're missing, uh, you know, missing out on him. I think I think Quill was saying the moose will show up and he'll be around for about three days before he despawns again. So three days is a pretty good margin. Like we're checking daily, multiple times a day. We'll see him if he comes. We'll see him. But yeah, if anyone knows any magic tricks, I'm all ears. Definitely all ears. But again, Ruak, thanks for coming by. And uh, yeah, your hair is looking awesome, Ruak. I think uh, I think that natural hair dye is perfect. It suits you well. And it's kind of neat learning stuff like that. Oh, now I have cat hair floating around. The joys of pet ownership. Yeah, learning about that stuff is really neat. Even if I might not try it out myself, it's just cool to have that kind of memory, knowledge, you know? sleep. I started going white at age 16. Really? I just, uh, Rook, I just thought you were like naturally very finely blonde, you know? Because I was, um, like, my hair was white as a baby, like blonde, but like really, really blonde. And then it turned, turned brown. And then in the sun it goes blonde again. Sorry, the cat is being... He's in, interested in some attention. Hey, that action. Good to see you. Welcome in. Hope you're well. Wait, did I just... I thought I just heard a moose. Am I crazy? I heard a moose. Alright, we're gone. We're gone. I thought I heard a... Ah, noise, you know, in the distance. A faint... Ah. I gotta check. Hearing things. What's up? Okay. My hair goes red in the sun. Yeah, see, I get blonde highlights when when it's sunny. This is perfect moose weather. A little snow blizzard incoming. Come on, moose. Come on. Show yourself. I'm not afraid. Nothing. Dang, can have it. Well, we tried. It's not for lack of trying, folks.
But again, that action, welcome in. Good to see you. Hope, uh, hope all is well. Oh, you know what? I forgot, folks. I have some ginger beer to drink. Cheers. Lyric, off to do stuff. Nice. Well, enjoy whatever you're up to, Rock. Take care. Cheers. Hmm. That's a good brew. Cheers. Hey, hey Rock. Cheers. Oh, we got our timing back. We got our timing back. We didn't hear a moose, unfortunately. I feel like though this is when we should be checking when it's nasty out. Eh. We can't really... I can't really just go out there in the worst kind of weather. Honestly, I'm hopeful I can just hear the moose from here. Like, I'll hear that noise. Clomping. The neighing. What, what, what noise does a moose make? A grunt, I guess? The grunting noise. I should stop breathing. of a new day. Hey, you know what? We might get pushed out of here eventually. If we run out of food, all of a sudden we gotta leave. Can't really can't really uh wait wait around for this moose anymore. Yeah, according to Quill, the moose should be up for about three days. So if we're just checking every day, we're gonna find him eventually, right? Right? Oof. A little chilly. We've, we've walked um, this trail so many times, there's a whole furrow in the ground where we've been walking over and over and over. Astrid's Trail, we'll call it. Ah, I shouldn't get silly, but I was gonna say, maybe I should put a couple arrows into the moose and then like drag him to the cave a bit. <laughs> Let's get the moose first, okay? Let's actually have them spawn in before we get too excited. Again, these deer or these um wolves should be back soon. Not yet. Hey hey, fire wolves, welcome in. Good to see ya. 
And uh, folks, if anyone just tuning in, we have gone back to an old file. No one gets out alive, modified outer loper. So we're trying to uh, trying to get this file to the point of no return to uh, to the long dark. Once we fade into the long dark, we'll have a record for ourselves, a personal best time. But right now we're on day 150 something. We're trying to be patient, waiting for this moose to show up here in the hunting lodge at Broken Railroad. But I'm losing my patience. Hey, hey, Matt of Rage, good to see ya. Welcome. Yeah, we're doing um, we're doing a challenge that I used to play a lot. It's uh, one that Perfect Trip came up with. Uh, it's a custom code. Basically, the general idea is you spawn at midnight in a blizzard and uh, can't recover condition other than from stims. So it's brutal. It's very unforgiving. The wolves are are all cranked to max. Um, lizards, auroras, weather volatility. It's all maxed out. And on top of that, we're doing inside is not allowed. So we got to go um, outside only vibes. <laughs> so we can't go into houses. We can't open the dam up, stuff like that. What we are allowed, though, is transition caves and um, ice caves, mines. We're allowed to go in there and live in loot, live in loot and, and be merry. But yeah, if I are uh, Rage, welcome. Hope you're well. See ya. But yeah, this has been a mode that we played around with for a long time before taking a bit of a break. We went on hiatus to uh, do a couple other challenges, but now we're back. Perfect Trip has uh, taken taken me off my pedestal. I'm now. Uh, I'm no longer number one for this challenge, so I'm trying to get a few more days logged, get a moose, and then once we get the moose, we're going to kick into high gear. Once we have this moose, we can actually set the plan in motion. The plan being, get moose, eat moose, leave Broken Railroad, head to Cinder Hill, we're going to get scrap organized, build a new bow, more arrows, and then we're going to do a forge run, and then we're going to set up shops somewhere, probably like Coastal Highway and uh, do a bunch of fishing, just bears, take down bears like crazy, and just live there in the elevator mine shaft. <laughs> well, not the mine itself, but like the top part of that mine. I think that'd be a good base for me. I kind of want to see if there's any rabbits. knows maybe we'll walk this way turn the corner and the moose will be there no rabbits uh oh let's check for hips and stuff maybe we missed some this again that's just weather for you uh, why do I keep going to these trucks I gotta I gotta just stick to the corners I gotta I gotta go to the tree grove backtrack tail between my legs you met that moose yesterday ah oh, tell me about it <laughs> so stomped it too iron goes live long, live long and prosper yeah you got it See, it's minus one triangle in the wind shelter, so that's fine. Just cold, cold in the wind. But yeah, we're, we're mostly just living in this one cave here, being patient. But once we get the moose, we can kick this plan into high gear. Um, we'll aggressively eat the whole moose and hang out in this cave, and then we're gonna heal uh, all our clothing. We've got a bunch of hides ready for craft sessions. 
So do a bunch of repairs and then exit this region and move on to the next adventure. But for now, we're locked in here. I'm literally making it so I'm leaving when we're out of food or when we've eaten a whole moose. So hopefully we get that moose before the bear's out. Uh, who knows, maybe the bear will respawn if we hang out long enough. Yeah, when did, when did we take the bear out? It was on day 130. So yeah, it's it's only been 20 days since we killed the bear. Oh my god. We gotta wait at least 50 days. Hey, Saber. After uh, five headshots with Flare Gun, I got a moose on day 10. It's bittersweet, isn't it, Saber? Because getting that early moose with the flare is awesome, but using more than like one, two, three, four shells, it kind of makes you kick yourself in the butt. Because if you're going to take that file to 500,000 days, you're going to miss those shots when emergency arises. But either way, good on you. Moose will be on the side of the lake close to the cave. Yeah, Stomp, I know I always see him like in that grove of trees or just just on the on the ice by that, that grove. So. We'll catch him, we'll catch him. We'll just uh, keep doing this walk back and forth until he shows up. A lot of days? Oh, hardly. Yeah, we've had, um, this is our best run on this mode, but we've had other runs that have gone longer. All right, beauty weather. It's only a matter of time, folks. We're checking every single day. He's going to show up eventually, right? Right? <laughs> but either way, I'm uh, I'm okay playing this run. Uh, I logged into it last week, and I was like, mm, nah, nah. <laughs> but now that Proof Trip is, uh, is taking that number one slot, I got something to work towards again. There's been a fire lit under me. It hurt your solar shot, yeah. It's great, like that that early moose is gonna be your first satchel. Early satchel is huge. I think getting a satchel out of the way before day 20 is a huge accomplishment. See, like I should see him here, and if not, I'll hear him. Like, this is as far as I need to go. us hunting cairns. Alright, this is now a cairn hunt. The story is not yet written. What a surprise. Uh-oh. Cue the blizzard. TLD's mad at me. Polaroid? So massive, there are Polaroids in this world, uh, 13 of them. So some maps have none, some maps have two, some have one. But the idea is, is you go onto a map and uh, you are able to find a Polaroid, okay? So for example, here's the mountain town Polaroid. I found a very special place today. It's not the highest peak near Timberwolf, but it might have been the sweetest view of Crystal Lake I've ever found. So this is um, Timberwolf Mountain at Andres Falls. If I were to take this to the location the Polaroid was taken, like where they snapped that shot, if I go there, it's gonna notify me on the screen that I'm at a Polaroid location. If I then map from that location, it will uncover like a third of the map. So it's a very strong technique for mapping. Using the Polaroids will speed up the Faithful Cartographer. So once you map a Polaroid location, 
instead of giving a tiny, tiny circle of visibility on your map. Do I even have anything mapped? Yeah, see, I have, like, this. This is a Polaroid. If I take a Polaroid here, it will, like, map, like, the whole, whole part of the region. It's crazy. But we do have a few Polaroids. I just haven't mapped oh. them. It's really, really handy, though, if you're doing Faithful Cartographer. Very, very, very good. Yeah, so before Fearless Navigator, there was no Polaroids, and you just had to, like, map, and you got the small circle each time. But now they've changed it, so even without the Polaroids, uh, if you go to high elevation massive, like pretend you're you're really high up, you actually get a larger area exposed once you map. So it's kind of cool. The elevation adds to uh, to the map making. There's also spray paint, which has a function, but most people don't don't typically get too bent out of shape about spray paint. I, I think I deserve a medal though. I am being so so patient. Normally I don't have any any time to waste waiting for a moose to spawn. And that's a fact. Like three days max I'm waiting. I'll just pat myself on the back here. too long we, we missed our nice weather oh yeah to see you welcome yeah we're, on, we're just um we're living in a cave near broken railroad hunting lodge and i'm waiting for the moose to spawn in but that moose is proving to be stubborn as i am but welcome in rome yeah we're doing a saber we're doing the no one gets out alive modified outer looper and again we're on our long running file we're on day 154 we're waiting for moose the moose that's not on the loose. Thank you everyone for hanging out, I appreciate you. Early morning when it's freezing cold, bad weather, this is when the moose is out, right? Let's go check quick. What I'm trying to do, more or less, is save my sprint for the way back and only go part way until my cold bar tells me it's time to leave. <laughs> so much of that. It's the coldest time of day, we just don't have any any time outside that we can spend. Honestly, I think the next big plan is bear coat. We'll make a, we'll make a bear coat with the bear hides we're collecting. That will be sweet. Bear skin coat or two, maybe? Get us a bit more warmth and push out a bit further. That's a bit of a bit of a ways away, but we can dream, can't we? can dream folks 
Cheers again. Thanks everyone hanging out here today. Yeah, this is the kind of weather. Nighttime in in nasty weather is when to expect the moose. I just can't handle I can't handle that though. use of a cloth. We got one whole degree of warmth. Hey, Rome! Snack time. Alright, you know what? We haven't had, uh, oh, sorry, Grim. I scared you, bud. Sorry. Alright. I haven't had apricots in a while, so let's go for apricots. Aw, oh, he's leaving. He says, screw you, I'm out of here. <laughs> okay, cheers. Apricots for the win. Thank you, Rome. I appreciate you. Storms are brewing. Okay, I'm trying to untie the bag. I tied a knot in it. It's not 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 how it, how we should do that. Ah. I'm gonna just end up tearing a hole in the side of this thing, I bet. Alright, there we go. again. Cheers. Got my apricots. Mm. Okay, I'm hoping the moose is up after this blizzard ends. As if, like, the blizzard brings the moose with it, you know? This is our chance, folks. This is it. Moose. 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 Yeah, everyone send your moosey thoughts. Here, moosey, moosey, moosey. It's interesting, this corpse isn't dropping feathers for me anymore. I was picking up feathers all the time from him. is a troll. Troll moose. Oh, 
You know, there's a tree over there, but like I said, I've only seen him on that side. Let me lose some folks. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this moose taken out and then we can really start to thrive, hopefully. That or we'll be healing broken ribs. Oh, nuts are on set of food. Back and forth. Yeah, this is kind of trash content, folks, but hopefully we can find this moose and things get a bit more exciting. But for now, I'm... This is why I didn't really want to play the file, is because it was going to be a lot of waiting around for this animal to spawn in. Because I know... I know I gotta take it out. It would be a huge, huge win for this, um, this run. Still waiting in, yep. 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 I'm running out of patience though. Oh, wow, Danny lost. I'm sorry. Rip. Hey, Captain Mel is getting the crew together. Jump in on the heist, folks. And uh, thanks again, everyone, for hanging out. Come on, crew. Our. it up. Yeah, come on. Captain Mel's got you covered. Very trustworthy, reliable captain. Almost a guaranteed victory. Um, I don't know. Yeah, Again, I know they were at despawn sim, but I don't know if he, like, won't ever come back. I, I assume he'll come back eventually, right? We have had a few auroras, but I've been checking, like, almost daily. Almost daily here. Multiple times. I think my trapper moose didn't come back. Um, now the trapper moose I think is a bit more unique. Like I've heard he'll show up once and then if he doesn't get killed he just disappears. But I think, honestly, moose are the most mysterious creature in TLD. I have no idea how they work, other than when I see a moose, I try to shoot it in the head and knock it stomped. That's about all I know. Um, something... If, if someone asks me about their respawns, I have no good answer. Someone said once a hundred days, but I've heard people say against that. I don't know. Moose are mysterious. You're almost certain I got the Trapper's Moose twice. Okay, so there you go. Mel says right now you can get that moose twice. I heard someone say you get it once. But who knows, maybe everyone has like an experience that is repeated a few times and then they assume that that's law, TLD law. But this game is wild. There's a lot of variation. GG. Grr? I, I read that as grr, Mel. Grr, crew. We sit here whenever they want to. <laughs> Brett, come on. You gotta help me out here. I need that moose to once to appear immediately. Can you uh, put your people on it? Maybe you can help me build a fire to the moose button. Get that moose is spawn in. There's gotta be some shenanigans. There's gotta be something.
Again, just as I was running towards this cave, I thought I heard a moose sound. I'm going crazy. Doesn't that depend on what game mode you're on? Um, what? I don't know. Like, I think the animals have different, like, say, on Inchiloper, it might be set to low instead of high frequency of spawn or, like, damage or aggressiveness, but I don't really know. It's not my fault you don't know the heal click trick. <laughs> Can't do that on stream. What if it works and then... And then that's what we always have to do for the moose, I guess. That wouldn't be that bad. <laughs> A heal click. There's no place like home. Wait, that wasn't the line. Uh, I'd have to turn the cam off to do it. I'd be too embarrassed. All right, all right, we're gonna do it, but you don't get to see or hear it. Ice cream? Nice! Enjoy! That sounds lovely, Mel. R is the first letter of the pilot alphabet. That's a joke. It's kind of bad, but... What's the pirate's favorite letter? What's the pirate's favorite letter? I'm sure you all heard this one before. R! No! It's the C! The C. Sorry, I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. Mwah, mwah. I know, I know, I know. I should get banned from this channel. Enjoy your ice cream, Mel. I got a favorite ice cream spot I go to once in a while. It's been a while. Maybe I'm due for a, a visit. I usually go there and I buy four ice cream sandwiches and then I have them in my own freezer <laughs> to have at my leisure. All right, take care, Mel. You laughed? Good. Well, don't encourage me too much, Iron Ghost, because then what if I get started? Get started on jokes and we just can't stop? drank his own pee doesn't seem seem what sorry i should we cut you off there hey it's cold it's cold in this cave blizzard outside i know i'm hoping the moose shows up though after the blizzard that's my go-to dream blizzard rolls through and brings a moose with it This is crazy, this weather. Give me a break here. Oh, 
blizzard after blizzard after blizzard. Dang, and now that's the last of our meat. Brutal. I might be uh, heading back to cave soon. We might get skunked here. Hey, Mini Dwarf, welcome in. Good to see you. How's it going? Alright, we're going immediately, even though it's wicked cold. I just gotta check. I'm feeling like that blizzard blowed through and left me a moose. Doing great. You got a decent interloper start. Nice. What, uh, what region did you spawn in? What kind of, uh, what kind of loot did you find already? We're still looking for the moon stook, yeah. Uh, that's all we've been doing today, literally. We've had one goal. And we're trying to accomplish it. Trying to get a moose. One singular mission. Yeah, too. We've been bouncing back and forth between this cave and the other cave with the bear. And uh, we've been waiting for the moose. One track mind. Yeah, which normally I'm not that good at. You got a hacksaw and hammer. Oh, nice, Mini. Yeah, that means you're thinking about the forge, eh? Yeah, here we go. Cue the blizzard. Crap, crap, dang. But yeah, this is the kind of content that I, I, I have a tough time putting out, folks. But I need to get this moose. This is uh, this is the main the main goal right now. Take this moose out and then live in this cave eating moose meat until we need to go make more arrows and a bow. saw a night for a moose this is it and if we don't get the moose we got to go back to the other cave I think and park our butt there for a day or two maybe take out those wolves that we were hoping to avoid just for the meat to extend our stay but keep it up mini dwarf sounds like a good run forge saplings get some guts curing too obviously you know that but sometimes I uh I put off the guts, because I don't want to carry stinky guts around. Hey, Addicted, welcome in. How you doing today? Good to have you. We're here trying to find a moose. And it's been a struggle. It has been a struggle. We lost two health today, but that was kind of because we were being silly. I tried to break up a fur limb without a fire. And I and I saw the temp getting cold and I tried to wait it out. Didn't even get the wood. I had a hard time convincing myself to spend time harvesting hides and guts when I'm starving. Well, you shouldn't be starving early game. Like there's a lot of food. If you're looting and scooting through regions, you're gonna have cattails, you're gonna have canned goods, beef jerky, chips, pop, maple syrup, all that stuff is gonna be cluttering your inventory like crazy. It's not worth it. Alright, let's get some sleep. Hey, Kieran, we're holding up, but not not well. Not well. <laughs> I really want to get this moose. We've got one more crack at it. 
because I'm out of food in this cave, so we gotta go back to our other cave. Not too quick at the scootin'. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough to know when it's safe to leave. Or, you know, maybe it's not safe, but you have to go anyways, and then there's strategies that can be employed. Alright, this is our... probably our last look at this moose spawn. So let's hope for the best. No, Kieran, we are waiting for it to spawn. So we've not we've not had it spawn yet. And we're also doing a challenge where we can't recover condition. So my health bar is where it's at and it's never getting better. We've used up every stim in the world that I can get access to. If there's any other stims, I can't grab them. So we've used seven stims up already. It's a bull moose, so you either have a bull or a cow, and the bull moose have antlers. Uh, so, easy, easy to tell. Big old bull moose giving me trouble. Drat. Don't have a cow, man. <laughs> hey, too. And thanks for the hydrate, Kieran. Appreciate that. Dang. All right, let's sleep a bit. Sweltering? Oh no, it's actually um, quite cool now. Like it was really hot this week, but it's cooled off for me here, thankfully. I was uh, I was sweltering. What do you know? Do one more check and then we gotta go backtrack to our cave because we're out of meat. All I can think about is food. <sighs> Feels like it at least, yeah. Like I said, it was hot this week, but now it's quite mild, so I'm happy. Alright, it's gonna be cold on this walk, but we'll do it quick, quick. No, we got the satchel, Kieran. We're just trying to get the, the region cleared. So we killed the moose, the deer, the, the wolves. The wolves have respawned. Um, but if I get the, the moose, it's like, you know, it might take one, one arrow and I have two weeks of food. So I've got the fuel established and set up to cook the moose. I just need to shoot the moose and then it's time lived. I'll get more time lived. Um, right now, I've got everything I need. But... We're just looking for some food for long-term living. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, the moose meat. We've actually got a satchel already, and I've got two wolf coats. And in my opinion, the wolf coat uh, is a bit stronger than the, the moose coat. More warmth. Less weight. Easy to repair. Alright, let's get ready to run back to the other cave. We just gotta pass a bit of time. Yeah, Kieran, I've literally been here all stream. All I've done all entire stream is wait for this moose. So... We started on... 142. So we've been here for, jeez, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 days now almost. 15 days. I've never waited this long for a moose in my life. I might have to abandon. 
abandon this region and move on. I'm getting uh, I'm getting antsy, folks. I'm getting antsy. But we're not going to make any hasty decisions. Oh, I know it's here. We have the moose marking, so we have the potential for this moose to spawn in. Just hasn't shown his ugly face. Not yet. All right, folks, we're uh, we're out of food. We got to go. So we have moose uh, or bear meat and deer meat in the other cave. So that's where we're living. And then we're making day trips over to this end of the map with food on us, waiting until we're out of food and backtracking. That's just all we've been up to. Can I ask what changes with bear hunting? Bears aren't scared of fire anymore. Um, it's hard to say. Honestly, I think bears, they, it's not that they're afraid of fire, but sometimes the fire does cause the bear to stop and stand without moving. It's almost like a glitch, I feel. So it gives you an opportunity to take a, take a clean shot at the bear and uh, might charge you after though, so be careful. Oh crap, oh crap, we're in trouble. We're in trouble, folks. Maybe you should start shouting you, you mama chose at the moose. I think that will help. Oh gosh, it's gonna be down to the wire here. Oh, we're taking damage. I think we're taking damage here for sure. Run, Astrid, run! I need to find some place to escape this cold. Astrid! No! No! What a great way to play here. Frick. It's patience. I'm out of patience. So this is what's gonna kill me. Not being patient. I could have waited till it was a little warmer, you know? Oof. What's the damage? One. We lost one. Hey, Hawkeye, okay, good to see you. Good evening. Yeah, the bears, um, honestly, the best technique is to find an inaccessible location. So like a hunting blind, uh, a fishing hut on top of a fallen down tree. And um, even if you want to put a fire near that as an extra precaution. The situation, Hawkeye, is we're back into No One Gets Set Alive. We're on day 156, and we've been here for 15 days in Broken Railroad trying to find trying to find a moose, and we have not not found that moose. I don't know what's going on. We've lost three health this stream. We had a whole pile of meat. It's almost gone. But yeah, we lived 15 days here just trying to Make ends meet. <laughs> but welcome in, Hawkeye. Good to have you. Why do who? Well, there's like, um. It's in your butt. It's in your butt. What? <laughs> Hawk sighting, eh? Um. Could have been worse. Yeah, it could have been way worse. We could have got mauled by a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're hurting here. We're just trying to kill this moose. We have limited arrows, so it's like the next step for us is to take the moose, eat it, and then build more arrows. Let's do some crafting. I've basically just been trying to learn how to no one gets out alive again. Right at the beginning of the stream, I tried to chop off a fur bench without a fire beside me. We took two damage. Silly wands. Two hours, 43 minutes. Let's go. Nice. So we're still sad at 22. We've maintained our temps.
I think we're gonna have to make our great escape or get that moose. There's not really a whole lot of other options. I could try to kill a wolf or two. And cook them up. But then we have less arrows for the moose hunt. We're down to one that's gonna break immediately. And then we have three others in good shape. Oh, it's four degrees, ones. Why don't you try to chop up a branch? Well, honestly, is it the silliest idea? Ugh. I think I could have had it. See, the problem is, is I'm watching my temp gauge. And uh, it, it went it went to down arrows and then back, back up to one. Brutal. Brutal. Try that again. I'm trying to get free free wood, but sometimes it just doesn't let me. Now it's minus six feels like. Now we're not getting anything. It for food. Ah. Out of food now. I think I got one more shot. Oh, Aurora. I think I see Aurora out there. So Moose is gone now, anyways, if he was up. Oh, no, it's just it's just pink sky. Let's attempt. Minus nine feels like. I think we could get there. And this pack is getting kind of heavy. Wait, why are we so heavy? Oh, the water, okay. Alright, let's hope we don't screw this up. Good way to lose a bit more health is if a wolf is right here. Or if it goes minus three triangle, yeah, bail. Bail. <laughs> We're done. Whoa, addicted. Get them a sub of the community. Their first of the channel, and it went to Sturgill. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, addicted. Thank you, thank you. And uh, congrats, Sturgill. Enjoy. Big thanks to addicted. There's some sub up out there, folks. Thank you again, I appreciate that. I I haven't even attempted the name yet. Ubuntu. Ubuntu. Thank you. Appreciate it. And thanks for the hydrate. Cheers. Ubu is fine? Alright, Ubu. Thank you again, I appreciate you. Okay, now we can sleep until like a better time of day. Then we'll head back to our base. Secondary base here. Hey, thanks for shouting out, Ubu. Last play in some Long Dark. Nice one. How was your uh, Long Dark adventure going, Ubu? What, what kind of goals are you working on?
All right, this is for all the marbles. Go Astrid, go Astrid, go. All right, we're heading back to the cave. We got a few days worth of food, so we're gonna try again. Try again to make this work. Whoa, wrong way. We almost took fall damage. Astrid, careful now. See, they're going for my cave where they first picked up my scent. They're gonna be mistaken. I'm not over there. You have a whiteout challenge going, 9 day stalker and a 165 day voyager. Nice. You're taking a break on Looper until after the whiteout? Yeah, I really actually enjoy doing the challenges. I was going for challenge mastery at one point, the, the achievement for all challenges. And uh, some of them I like better than others. Like I'd say, honestly, whiteout and nomad were, were the lower tier of likability for me. Um, As a dead sleep, hopeless rescue, hunted one, archivist. Those are the ones I really, really enjoyed. Astrid, haha, miss me, wolf. Dang it, fooled again. <laughs> yeah, we're too smart for them critters. Well, honestly, I've taken. Uh, I've forgotten. We got we got attacked by two wolves so far, two Aurora wolves. So, I think they are. They're doing okay against me. You've done hopeless rescue. Whiteout is pretty easy. Yeah, whiteout. I guess it's more about just like, you know, it shows you how to loot through an area properly. Because you're scrounging, you're looking, you're looking under chairs, under tables, you're poking around in cupboards. It's sort of training you on how to loot when you get to survival sandbox and prepare, you know. Whereas um, hopeless rescue is really helpful with the map knowledge. It gets you through a few regions. Nomad's good for map knowledge too, but for me, nomad was too much of a pastime simulator, and that drove me nuts. Okay, moment of truth. Can we find a moose? Please. I'm about losing my mind here. How many days did it take? Hmm, I think it took me like 15 days, maybe? I was pretty aggressive. We ran out of time the first time I did Hopeless. Second time, I barely fired the pistol. And you had one hour remaining? Whoa, that's awesome. I think um, I've done Hopeless twice, and I can't remember my time, but I wasn't racing. I was just trying to, like, have a good time with it, you know? All right, Moose, this is your last chance. I feel like if I keep uh, playing, I'm going to get frustrated and try to leave the region without getting this Moose. new to Timberwolf? Yeah, well that's a great challenge to help you learn the route in and out of Timberwolf. Really good challenge for that. Hey Sarah17, welcome in, how you doing? Good to see ya. Yeah, we've been, um, it's been pretty boring dull stream here, not gonna lie. We've just been waiting for this moose and it never showed up. I've been here 16, 17 days now, just trying to live and uh, we're striking out. Hey, Hardwinder, Outer No Goa. So we're doing a custom challenge called Outer Loper No One Gets Out Alive. Custom code Perfect Trip came up with to basically make the game as hard as possible and to top it off we're doing no one goes inside buildings um even like the mountaineer set or outdoor sh part of maintenance shed oh i'm sneeze well maybe not i don't know i don't know anymore a lot of players don't explore all the timber roof only knowing the summit route uh yeah the spawn of the hut the region is cool i'd say 
give it a shot, um, especially after you summit, instead of going back the way you came, try to get to like Eric's Falls. Eric's Falls is in the, I guess you'd call it the northwest corner, and it's really nice. There's a bear, there's a couple wolves, there's deer, there's a cave, there's a rope up that can get you up towards, um, I believe it's the pre-summit rope climb. And there's a cave system there with coal. There's also like a pretty easy trip down if you want to the, the, the cut. But yeah, that whole side of the map is rarely visited. But I think it's worth a look for sure. And for me, you're right, it was my comfortable roots until I did Faithful Cartographer and I learned, you know, a bit more about these different maps. I was really nervous in Timberwolf and I stuck to my landing gear to Mountaineer's Hut, Mountaineer's Hut to wing, wing to log bridge to cave to rope to cave to rope to cave to rope to summit. <laughs> that was it. Never did I deviate. This is the one, folks. Right? Right? I suppose when you do it over again and over, you get ingrained. Yeah, that's how it works. Like, you pick a route that you're comfortable with and that has minimal predators. So you sort of get to know where the different animals spawn. And, like, either you want to head that way for hunting or you want to avoid it to stay safe. But yeah, the route, the route that I just described is very safe and, uh, well it's not safe, there are predators, but it's a great route because there's lots of warming up spots and there's a coffee break, you can actually stop in the crate and grab coffees along the way. Oh, this stinking moose, okay, I'm over it. I'm gonna lose my patience here. <laughs> Folks, I'm gonna call it calling it. I'm gonna come back tomorrow with renewed energy and we're gonna do a little bit more waiting for the moose and uh, then we're leaving. Yeah, I can't, I can't loiter here any longer. We're gonna burn through all our good resources. Brutal. You. And yes, it took me the entire weekend to comprehend the plumbing involved in my aqua tuner setup so that I can finally start steel production in auction not included. Take that every kid that said they would never use math and science in the real world. Nice. Spoiler, the moose will not be there. Come on, Tuke. Come on. No moose for me. I know. We struck out. We struck out, but folks, check it out. We made some days. We got some days. We're on day 157. Take that perfect trip. <laughs> We're back on top. Unless perfect trip is currently streaming, then he's probably already at 200 days. Not like this. But folks, thank you so much for hanging out. Um, this has been fun. We did lose some health here today. We went down to 25 from 28. So we lost three health. Brutal. But thank you everyone for hanging out. I had a lot of fun. And folks, um, if you're on the Discord, you might see some excitement there later on. We might be doing uh, doing a little watch party. So check it out if you want. Otherwise, I'm back tomorrow, folks. And we're going to be playing some more Long Dark. Always. All right. You know what? I see, uh, I see our good friend Deadpool is streaming. They're playing the same challenge, folks. Deadpool's on day 75. So let's go check it out. 
uh, Deadpool is doing really good. I think last time I saw him, he was building like all the good clothing, and he had a full health bar and stims in the pocket. Oh no, we spelled the name wrong. I can't spell. I can't spell. <laughs> Come on. Come on, once get it together. All right, thank you, everyone. Brad, Tuke, Mark Wars, Kind Al, Hawkeye, The Escape. Uh, addicted street Sarah everyone all the lovely folks still lurking. Thank you so much everyone. I had fun This was silly, but tomorrow we're back again. We're getting that moose or we're leaving this region And we'll find another moose. Okay, <laughs> that's the plan. All right folks again. Thank you everyone Let's go visit Deadpool who's doing the same challenge. I am. Thank you everyone. Take care. Bye for now